Hello, 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 hello. Am I unmuted? Did I press that button? Professional streams as ever. There we go. We're un I'm unmuted. We're here. Ho, Lee Toledo. How are you all? I see Lynn Mills. I see Coin Collecting. I see Amber Wakeling. I see Ellis Ellis Pask. I see I see Christopher Collect. <laughs> um, hello, hello, hello. Uh, over on YouTube, I see Laughter. I see Laura Pels. I see Harry. I see Vanessa. Richard Harmon. Alfie Cooper, Mac and Moolah, Mr. Gordon James, Stevie Rob, Duncan.nh, uh, Nassim, Grossy Coin Hunts, Alfie Cooper, Tez Hall, Rupert D. Bear. It's one of my favourite names. I love saying that, Rupert D. Bear. Uh, Ryan Collects Coins, Sean, Richard Harmond. Hello, 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 Denise Haynes. Can I swap all my co coins for Jason Statham? Who knows? Who knows? Um, hello. But I am joined again today by a, a couple of, of my good friends and fellow coin tubers. Um, you guys seem to like like what it was like uh, last week. Uh, we've got about half of the hunt we do, normally do, uh, because again, getting hold of coins is a little bit of a battle currently, uh, as, as is to be expected. So to help me along with this evening, we have um, Total Coins. Hi, everyone. Hello, thank you again for joining us again. Uh, we also have Jamesy B. Hoy. Hello. Hello, thank you again for joining me. And we have hello. Gracie Coin Hunt. Hello, hello everyone. Hello, hello, hello. So they'll be helping me along. We may have some of the coin tubers drop in, drop out throughout the live stream. If you see some coin tubers in the chat that you want up into in the call with us, Tell them to join. Tell them to join. <laughs> I see Coin Coaster as well. Hello to Coin Coaster. Uh, who else? Razor Nitro Saw. Uh, is that the fourth dinosaur? 50p, is it? Uh, John Boy Jolly. Donald W. So, those of you that are on the call with me then, um, what has been, what's been going on this week for you guys? I think, Total Coins, I think you've got this the story of the week, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, so it was my, uh, my Q find. <laughs> So I said on last week, everyone was asking last week what my star pool for the week was. <laughs> and obviously I had to keep that one under wraps. Yeah. I couldn't yeah. believe it. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> Neither could I. You couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. It was, it was the one coin I'd pretty much written off. It was a great. It was the fact that you were like, <gasps> and it was, you see the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a <laughs> and then to then go on and find the um, weightlifting as well in the same hunt. I know. Just floored hunt. me. What a hunt. Absolutely over the moon with it. Nice so hunt. now I've got another, what, two years to wait until I can find the last one to fit in the album. Yeah. Because all you other coin tubers like to steal it. <laughs> what is it you're after now? Um, wheelchair rugby. Wheelchair rugby. Oh, okay. What are we able I to get been... stuck on? I know, every, but the thing is, is I've been getting stuck on really weird ones. Mm. So 50p, I'm now obviously stuck on wheelchair rugby. Yeah. Two pound hunts. Obviously, I've got the two uh, Ireland and Scotland commonwealths. Mm -hmm. But I cannot find Mary Rose for oh. love nor money. And I look at sort of all the other ones that I find, like Navy Centenary. I find that in abundance. But I cannot find Mary Rose. Yeah, <laughs> just like it. fingers crossed, but you get it soon. It's all fun and games. It's all oh. part of it. Um, someone's asked, "Will I go to the Royal Mint Incognito after lockdown?" Um, no, I think if the lockdown's been lifted, then I'll let everyone know that I'm going along. I think myself and the fellow coin tubers, we can't wait to get there, can we? I am chomping at the bit. <laughs> it's been so long. <laughs> it's been so, especially because we got so used to end up going like once a month and. Even when Brexit came out, that was a fortnight after the last time we went, wasn't it, or something, or a fortnight before we went to the next one, or something crazy like that. Yeah. So we are desperate to to get down well, and, and see again. That's the thing. We were all moaning about having to sort of go once a month, mm -hmm. and now we're like, just hurry up and open. Exactly. Hurry up. We want to get back <laughs> open. <laughs> but with that, don't know what's actually going on there, but there's the potential that we could be... A June. Yeah. So they have actually started taking uh, bookings for June. June the 11th, I think, is the first day. Don't know whether it will come to pass. Yeah. But I'll be very, very sort of 
very surprised if they start go out on a limb and put a date up and then have to sort of bulk re- refund people. Yeah. Unless they know something that we don't. Maybe, maybe. But um, I see some more people in the chat. I see Temple's Treasures. I love to Temple's Treasures. If you haven't checked out Temple's Treasures channel, do go over there. It's amazing. Uh, Stan is cool. Um, Omar and Katie Jones. Hello, hello, hello. Over on Twitch, we've got some new people. I've got Phil2480. I saw uh, Tamik and uh, uh, Onatsu. Um, thank you for joining in over there. Um, but it's six o'clock. Should we get into some coins then? We'll start off as we usually do with some 10 P's. So 2018, 2018, we are missing A, D, K, J, H, O, and that's it. We've got a whole panel there. So fingers crossed we get something new for that book. 2019, a lot more work required. We've got E, F, G, L, K, J, I, H, O, X, V, and T. So plenty more to find in that bag. Wah. But no, I was grateful I was able to get some coins this week. Not as much as I would usually get, but um, enough to tide me over. But understandably, and I think as we did last week, um, we should, we're going to try and keep this um, free of lockdown, I guess. This is an escapism from what's going on in the world, and I think everyone would agree we can keep that to the side. I don't know. Out of interest, for those of you in the in the call, what's your favourite Alphabet 10p? Um, I've never actually decided that, to be fair. I've never really put much thought into it, because I don't do the 10 Ps much anymore. Um, I'm going to be completely fun. biased and say L for Loch Ness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I actually don't like that coin at all, to be fair. Well, actually, no, I do like it. I like all of them, but it's not... Not your favourite. I, I quite like W for World Wide Web. That's a neat coin. Yeah. I think that reminds me of Charlotte's Web, rather than yeah. World Wide Web. <laughs> ah, I see. What about those guys? Those of you in the chat, what's in the chat? What's all of your favourites? Alphabet ten P then. Can't yeah, be F. Stand two K like C for cricket. To be fair, that's the one that I would change. Just, I, 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 the design's cool, and I totally get it's a British, very rich thing. But cricket doesn't do anything for me, and I'm Christopher Collect. I'd love it to be something uh, more related to me. But we've got some more flying in. R A G. Hello, Kian Reagan. Uh, Amber likes E, F, and I. Lynn Mills likes uh, Elf, uh, or Loch Ness, sorry. Yeah. See, I would quite like that if the from the 2020 10 piece set to change everything. So oh, yeah. Elf for the awesome. London Eye. Um, Landmarks. Yep, different things like B for Blackpool Tower. Blackpool Tower. Yeah. Well, this from is there. the thing, sort of like, because I was expecting. The, the new set should have been out around March. Yeah. Yes. Um, so whether we're not going to get any this year at all. Shan's favourite is Jay for Jubilee. That's Jay for James. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably have to say my favourite is either Z or... Edward likes E. Rupert D. Bear says Z for Zebra. Katie Jones says S for South End. Ooh. Brighton Pavilion says Lynn Mills. Coin collectors uh, is P. Yeah. But I did get a, a bit of news. A bit of news. That might be a bit of interest. Yeah. So, obviously, this month we were meant to have a couple of coins show up yeah. that haven't. Um, so, I actually uh, had a chat with someone at the Royal Mint during the week. And they basically have confirmed that until the lockdown's lifted, they're not going to be releasing any more than new coins. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, the Captain Cook was meant to be out this month. Captain Cook, Iguana Don, James Bond the second. Um, James Bond the second was scheduled for May. That's been postponed as well. Um, obviously, the third Tower. dinosaur has been postponed. Second Tower of London, that was due as well. Uh, we'll see. There's normally a couple of months between them. Oh, is it? Okay, I didn't know. Yeah. 
I tell you what, though, the um, month after they lift lockdown, all these coins come out, is going to be an expensive month. So it is. <laughs> so like saving the, some pennies. <laughs> the, the person I was speaking to, I said that to, and uh, she was like, oh, no, 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 we won't be releasing them like that. I'm like, yeah, you will. <laughs> <laughs> Kurt says, be Burnley. Alfie likes beef for po- post box, uh, PO box, PO, PO box. R for Royal Mint. K for Kent. Definitely. What other what other letters would the, would chat like to see then? Go on, chat. I'm gonna allow you to redesign the alphabet ten Ps. What would you pick? What would you pick? One idea I did like, Christopher, that you made was the uh, the um, what they call counties. counties. Oh yeah, good. different. The counties in the yeah. UK would be an amazing set. They even do what? it on the ten P, so it's a bit like the state quarters. Yeah, yeah. Robert Robert what says they're it? making visors for the NHS at the moment. Very true. I've seen the yes. posts. Yeah, and Very obviously good, that, that, that's yeah. one of the big reasons why I can completely understand them yeah. not releasing new coins because, as far as I'm concerned, their times better, better spent fun. making the sort of the POE for the NHS. Exactly. What would be um, interesting is if they released the counties in the actual counties that they yes. are. See how the yeah, coins are Man, I would get I would get myself a little caravan <laughs> and make my way around. <laughs> <laughs> We've got, it'd be interesting to see how quickly they spread around the country okay. if they did spread at all. But... A coin cheaper caravan trip. <laughs> yeah, it's been, sure, discussed. It's been sure, discussed. I'm sure there'll be a couple of you that that come along. <laughs> the coin cheaper's coach. Coin cheaper coach. <laughs> Next up, B for Birdley. Y for Yorkshire, B for Big Ben, F for Fourth Bridge, K for Kitten, uh, B for Big Ben, Famous Cars, that'd be a good set. Yeah, that would be a good set. Yeah, that would be a good set. B for Ben Nevis, P for yeah, Scarfell Pike, and S for Snowden. Hello, Master Justice, thanks for tuning in. <clears throat> Stevie Rob, you're driving the country bar coach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could shot gone on not driving. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you want an idea on what it will be like, go and watch the Only Fools and Horses episode to Margate. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> Jolly boys out. That's it. Well, Jolly boys and girls in the country bar. <laughs> so Sandman 2K has just put a really good comment on Twitch yeah. um, that they should release a new NHS coin. Oh, yeah, totally. Yes. I think... Yeah, I think next year we'll see a new NHS coin in celebration of everything they've done this year. Oh, definitely. And the thing is, if they celebrate the NHS, then surely there's so many other people that have done, like, key workers or yeah. anyone yeah. else. A little key worker set, maybe. Yeah. Dan Temple's asked who's Riddles. Oh, that's got to be Christopher. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not tall enough. Yeah, Bungle's Del Boy. <laughs> I'm just waiting for Trigger. <laughs> trigger. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Pajama oh, Idiots. What have you missed so far? We found two territories. We found a Guernsey and a Jersey. And that's all so far. As, as I said earlier, it's a bit of an abridged hunt. Not the full amount I would normally do on a Sunday. Uh, but hopefully, usual service to resume swiftly. But in the times we're in currently, we're just going to make do with what we can get. Where's the Fez? Oh, yes. <laughs> the purple one's the 10p fez, isn't it? Which one? The blue one? <laughs> Baby Yoda fez. I think we have another invader into the chat. Right, I think I can still hear everyone. Is everyone still there? Yes. Yep, I just said, I think I could have everyone, but it's completely silent. <laughs> 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 Apparently, coin cupboard is trigger. <laughs> oh, like well, if we're going on height, then obviously, absolute coins would have to be Rodney. Yeah. How tall is absolute coin? Very. I can't remember. Very. Well, that, would, yeah. that would make me uncle Albert. I thought I'd hate. That sounds about right as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Well, we've heard some of your stories. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a few stories. 
the only thing is missing. Is, think you've, you've the only thing that's missing is during the war before every comment. Yeah. <laughs> but unfortunately, mines are not true. That's the problem. Total <laughs> coins. You have upset Bungle. You have upset Bungle. Dell boy? Question mark. Yeah. Yeah. Bungle's definitely Dell boy. <laughs> Making his own rules. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Lady M. Raquel then. Wrong towel. Oh yes, I haven't put the right towel down. I will swap the towels over and when I'm going to wash my hands after this bag because it's too much of a uproar to um change it right now. But don't you worry. It's a uh, Regina Red at the moment. <laughs> Regal. We need the magic purple blue towel. Football Stadium A to Z, C for Celtic Park. Yay, who said that? Mustard Justice. Yay, he's my new best friend. The what? My new best friend. Ah, I see. I thought there was only one football team in um, Glasgow. Uh, yeah, Partick Thistle. Here well we go. All right. Usually, usually known as Partick Thistle nil. <laughs> Keep banging into that mug. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Round two. <laughs> if Bungle finds a cue, he will do a face reveal. Is this true, Bungle? Is this true? Bungle's found a cue before. I'm sure. In the he? past, yeah. yeah. And he's done a face reveal in the past. It was a Bungle versus Lady M, wasn't it? I think it's his bare chest reveal that everybody's more interested in these days. <laughs> he needs to stop cleaning that iPad so so much. <laughs> Hello, JW's Coins and Hobbies. Thanks for tuning in. Oi. Oh, dear, I'm dropping them everywhere. It's my impersonation of um, Coins to Collect. Hello, Sean. LB says, can I ask you a question? Go for it. What do you mean? That was his question. <laughs> that was the <laughs> question. <laughs> you just uh, have. Ask the coin tuber panel. Holy Toledo. There's a new NHS coin on Westminster Collection, is there? Oh yeah, they're, they're key worker ones, isn't it? Or is it, or is it an NHS one? Frankly, yeah, you've got key, key workers on Westminster, and then you've got, I think it's an NHS one on Coin Club. I see. Yeah. Thank you for tuning uh, for uh, joining the hunt over on Twitch, uh, Sug. Uh, the big one is is out of everyone, sort of on the on the call, who has got. The annual set. I've got the uh, the, defini the definitive annual set, but I don't have the other ones. I bought just the one with the definitive, not the... Uh... I am waiting uh, on my annual set coming <laughs> from Change Check in uh, Westminster. But I've yeah. been waiting four weeks now, so I'm not holding my breath, but obviously times like these, I've got to give them time. Yeah. yeah, I'm up to six weeks wait on my Royal Mint set. Mm -hmm. And when I spoke to them during the week, I was like, "No, they're not going to be. They're not going to be sent out until end of May." So anyone that's ordered an annual set from the Royal Mint, do not expect it until the end of May. Jim Bone says hi to all from my prison cell. Uh oh, <laughs> <laughs> what happened? What do we know? Do we want, not want to know? Hopefully, you've got good Wi-Fi there. <laughs> How much does Paddington at the Palace Fifty P go for? I'd imagine it's just a face value one, isn't it? Is it not? Yes. Obviously, with most coins, um, the rule of thumb is people will pay what they are willing to pay for it. Uh, so even a dictionary coin, if someone really needed a dictionary coin, they would pay, I don't know, pay a pound for it or whatever. If they needed it for the collection, they couldn't find it. But um, as a general rule of thumb, I wouldn't value any of the uh, 2019 Paddingtons, no, 2018 Paddingtons, anything more than face value. For the moment, obviously it's a popular set. They could rise like the 2016 Beatrix Potters. 
do you reckon that the with everything that's going on with the 2020 Team GB, that will have an effect on the 2016 Team GB? Wouldn't have thought so. It depends if people are going to want to combine the two together into a set, if you see what I mean. Yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't know whether they would or not. They don't really. They go together, but they they're not. I think a release of the of, a, of the new Team GB would have a positive effect on the 2016 because those again, if people don't have the 2016 Team GB, uh, they'd want it. Yeah. But it's a common. One. It's a really common one anyway. So I don't think it's going to be earth shattering. Whatever. Actually, talking about sort of two like two coin sets, did you get a letter from the Royal Mint this week? I didn't know. I might no? have. I have a pile of unopened mail, so okay. <laughs> it's quite possible that it, it is in, in amongst that, but I think I know the letter you're talking about. Yes. I'll have, so to, I'll, I'll have to photocopy it and send it with your with your one as well. Yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you got the peer box. I, I, should, I could I could post that off you, couldn't I? Uh, there's no, there's no rush. We'll wait until we're at the mint, and you, you can forget it all again. <laughs> somebody said you're a Prince William sound alike. Prince William sound alike. On what YouTube? Any Jane? Loving the Prince William sound alike. Well, <laughs> amazing. Oh, what a find. So, does that make him coin through tube of royalty now? Then, yeah, ah. yeah, that does make him a Isle of Man. That's nice. Oh, LB, said, LB said, can I send you my 2020 Paddington at the Palace? If you've got a 2020 Paddington at the Palace, I will have that, <laughs> <laughs> have that immediately. <laughs> but, yeah, for those of you that don't know anything about the letter that the Royal Mint have been sending out, it is actually based on the uh, Brexit dual pack. So, on the actual packaging itself, it states that the... Is it 1973 hands? Yeah. Yeah. It, the coin in the pack is brilliantly uncirculated when it's quite apparent looking at it that it's not. Yeah, as we know, as we both found to our great displeasure. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, they've been sending, for everyone that's bought one, they've sent out a letter basically saying that it was a mistake on their end and sort of, Please accept their apologies. The thing is, I don't think that's going to have an impact on value because it's, it's like that on all of them. It would be different if 10,000 of... Well, no, there wasn't even 10,000. There was only, what, 5,000, wasn't there? Uh, oh, about, yeah, 5,000 of them. If 1,000 of them had been wrong, then yes. Totally would have, would have increased the price. But if they're all like that... Mm. To be quite honest, they're quite... They've, they've, they they've sold went out up pretty and, quick, though. Yeah, it was a couple of hours, wasn't it? Yeah. But um, I, I had a look the other day. And they're still going for sort of like seventy pound on eBay. Yeah. So I think you'll find that will be one. That will be a pack that will sort of retain its value regardless. Yeah, yeah. totally. I think because Brexit, whether what side of the fence you're on on that on that whole argument, it's a massive defining moment for the country. eBay is amazing. Someone is trying to sell three Battle Hastings for three hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Bargain. Brilliant. Right, I'm jacking in this YouTube gig then, and I'm sort of yeah. going to live on an island. Exactly. <laughs> the, the thing is, and again, I've said it a bazillion times about eBay, you can list whatever you want on eBay for whatever price you want. Um, so don't judge the values of your coins or whatever you're trying to value. Uh, on the listing prices, you want to look and filter by finished auctions. I always pick auctions because, again, buy it now can be a bit funny. Um, but, yeah, filter by, by sold items to get your idea of valuation of a coin or whatever you're valuing. But what you can do is if you do list your Benjamin Bunny for sort of 2 million on eBay, yeah. right, you will get your name in the newspaper because the exactly. sun and the mirror and all of that will all cover it. Yeah. Making it out to be the next rarest coin on the planet. The Benjamin Bunnies for £10,000. If Benjamin Bunnies were worth £10,000, I would definitely be in the Bahamas right now. Yeah. <laughs> how wages are quite a lot of times? How do you get a stamp off an envelope? Stamps off of envelopes. So you want a shallow dish uh, with warm water, not hot water, but warm water. Cut the stamp out around it. I'll use this as an example. So a little bit around. So there's a little bit of paper around it because you don't want to cut the perforations. And then just float it stamp side up in the water. And after 
a few minutes. If it's an old stamp, it'll have come loose and you can just take the, the paper off the back and then you just get rid of the gum, the stickiness on the back, uh, and then you want to press it flat and dry it out. Uh, modern ones, it can take a bit of work to get them off because they can have these little security features that pop out to stop you being able to peel them off and reuse them. Uh, you've just got to be careful with them. You can also try using nail polish re remover. It's quite good as well. Mm -hmm. um, but that is removing stamps from paper. Thank you very, very much, Sean. Uh, could you could you and CoinTubers please send Sarah to bed? Sarah, <laughs> it is bedtime. Yeah, Sarah, get to bed. Yeah, bomb bing. bing. Shift it, shrimpy. <laughs> Shift it, shrimpy. <laughs> and Case Jones says, or use a label remover. Possibly. I haven't used label yes. remover before. I wouldn't have thought about that. The way I would have only thought to, if I was keeping them for a collection, is just to cut around the stamp and then keep the bit of the envelope. And then it Again, will... you, you can do that. Because obviously, be there's the risk when you're soaking that. a stamp if it's like they they can the if you especially if you if you've got a coloured um, envelope like a, a bright red envelope when you mm. are uh, soaking it uh, the colour can bleed into the stamp. In fifty so years, the Brexit someone... coin will be worth one hundred twenty-five pounds. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> So when you get sent stamps in your PO box, yep. do you go through and take them off? Uh, I will do. Yes, at the moment they all go into a box into the collection to be sorted. Uh, I will admit, stamps is obviously I I keep when I get sort of strange ones, I keep hold of them. Hmm. Normally they get passed on to sort of either you or Caledonian collects. Yeah. Um, I've got enough collections going on without adding stamps as well. <laughs> The only time I ever collect stamps is if I get a nice one on a letter, but I don't mm -hmm. actively collect them. Oh, Martin Thomas, that is very harsh. Very, very harsh. What? I would try and sell Bungle for one million, but it would be worthless and not interesting at all. Ah, oh, <laughs> mean, mean. I did see on eBay someone listed, I can't remember what coin it was, I think it was a Peter Rabbit for like nine million pounds. And then in the description it's got um, a mother of a daughter who, and the daughter apparently claimed that the coin was worth that much, so the mother wanted to prove a point. Ah. It's got so many. <laughs> but apparently, it's got so many. It's, it's got so many. Uh, what's it called? Clicks like watches. So many people watching it. Yeah. But, yeah I thought it was quite funny. <laughs> How much? Nine million. I have to see if I can find it. Or something like that. If you're if you're thinking of purchasing that for nine million, I will do you fifty percent off, and I'll throw in two of them. <laughs> <laughs> you can Please. register your, in, your interest by peeling the top of your uh, monitor off and posting it into PO Box 6996. Christopher Clex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we are. So, yeah, Peter Rabbit 50p coin. It's the 2016 Peter Rabbit and it's listed for £8,800,000. I told you, half price. And I throw in, buy one, get one free as well. <laughs> My eight year old oh, daughter half. thinks it's worth eight million, eight million. She begged me to list it. I'm doing uh, as she asks to prove a point. <laughs> what about the marks on the stamps when posted? Did that decrease the value of the stamps? So uh, again, most um, postally used stamps are not going to be worth big bucks. Um, and you people dif collect different types of stamps. So I like postally used stamps. So if they've been um, cancelled, that's that's what I like in my stamp collection. Whereas some people will only buy mint ones. Some people will buy uh, first day covers. Um, people will collect what ones that have just just from postcards. There's so many different uh, different types of collections, but the majority of stamps are not going to be worth much. You can buy a massive, I don't know, kilogram bag of stamps for next to nothing on eBay, and that'll keep you busy for a long, long time. <laughs> Bungle is priceless. Agreed. Agreed. So Jim Bones saw a Commonwealth Games Wales for five pounds. That's not bad, is it? Uh, with five thousand pound postage. Oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. Um, no, don't worry about the postage. How are they five posting pounds? it? Big, like, <laughs> just, tell it. Going, <laughs> just tell the them you're going. Just tell them you're going collect it. The tell them you're going to it up. <laughs> the Armored van, it. probably. Another jersey. All we've got so far is territories. We need a bit more. We need a bit more luck. <laughs> And Katie Jones, hashtag never forget Christopher Stamps. 
Did you never forget? No one remembers it. <laughs> no one watched it to remember. Well, I, I, we'll have to have a look at what your view count is for them videos oh. now. Let's kind of have a, an investigation. <laughs> if anybody's got any time in their hands, go and watch Christopher's early videos. Christopher's stamps. <laughs> again, I'm, considering they were your first videos, they're actually pretty good, to be fair. Thank yes. you, Gracie. The editing is top notch. Thank you, Your Highness, I should say. <laughs> I mean, the actual commentary is a bit. No, joking. <laughs> 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 it, it's not improved over the last two years. Honestly, the setup I had for that was absolutely diabolical. I had a, a like a tripod for a camera, which I managed to to attach. Oh, I had to I had to disconnect the top of it and then attach it by with a knife so I could have it pa facing down. And then that was duct taped to my desk chair through these little Christ. holes. You can't see because I've got something on the back of it. Um, duct taped to it over a table. It was ridiculous. <laughs> it was the worst setup ever. Well, we all start somewhere. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Master, Master Temple remembers the Iran stamps. <laughs> 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 Due to inflation, the next 50 years it could cost that amount, but all the other items get higher numbered prices, according to Andreas. There we go. Mm. But no, you will not see a return to the stamp videos. There are about five or six stamp videos that were edited and ready to go up on my PC, but they never saw the light of day. And they won't see the light of day. Ah, uh, release them for the fans of the stamps. Release <laughs> the stamps. All three of them. <laughs> yeah, free the stamps. Free the stamps. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag free the stamps. Everybody in the chat, hashtag free the stamps. <laughs> In 500 years, Q will be worth 30 grand. Oh, oh. We're not going to be around here, so that's not yeah, our concern. But, but that 30 grand will be the equivalent of 10p in today's <laughs> money. In 500 years. Could you imagine 500 years from now? I wouldn't want to know if it actually survived that long. Yeah. Mm. There you go. I suspect it probably would. I still plan to be here then. There you go, we're getting the hashtags on now to do the stamps. <laughs> the stamps are not being freed. When you get to 50,000 subscribers, free the stamps. No way, Jose. Not going to happen. <laughs> this is the last handful of 10 Ps. The last handful. We've got no letters, unfortunately, but we did get a few territories, which is nice. Way, yay, yay, yay. That one wants to get out. What was it? It was just a shield. Oh, diddly. We did, though, get a couple of territories. That's a jersey. 1992. I think that's a common, the common year. This one looks more modern. 2002. We've got Guernsey. Tomatoes. 1992. And Stockpool. Isle of Man, St. German's Cathedral. 2003, is that? Amazing. Very nice. It'd be cool to yeah, actually go there because nice. I know, like, Trev from Coins to Collect, when he was in uh, Gibraltar, I did some videos at the sites of where the of what the designs of the coins were. Those, those videos were absolutely brilliant. Oh, I the one with the monkey, them. I was getting stressed out just watching the video. I felt, <laughs> oh. <laughs> that, poor, that poor guy, <laughs> that, that monkey was after him, wasn't it? <laughs> What's your take on Change Checkers news about 2020 Team GB fit to be no longer being released this year, but will it be stamped 2021? That's what the big question everyone wants to know. The amount of people that have messaged me to ask me, I had, I know no more than, any, than the next person, unfortunately, on this topic. I would hazard a guess. I wouldn't even hazard a guess, if I'm honest, um, because it depends if the coins are already minted and ready to go, which they may very well may be. Uh, they may just be released next year. Um, if they're not minted, and they know they're not going to release them this year, then they might just get minted next year. But that'd be very cool, because all of us with our 2020 Team GBs in our annual sets uh, are going to be rubbing our hands and laughing. Uh, LB says, Chris, can we do a trade, please? Peter Rabbit for 2020 Paddington at the Palace. I don't do trades, I'm afraid. Uh, you have uh, almost endless options in terms of places you can trade. You have all the Facebook groups. I'm sure there are places on Instagram and Twitter. 
um, that you can go to. You've got New Mister, you've got Change Checker, I've got a, a swapping site. Uh, on my Discord server, after we come out of lockdown, trading will be allowed again. So if you're over 13, you can join the Discord server and trade on there in the future. Um, but I personally don't do trades because it's just it's too much of a hassle for me, I'm afraid. Uh, I don't have much time as it is. And to add in trying to sort out trades and then remember who's sending what. Have I received that? Have I sent that? Blah, 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 blah. Um, I just don't have the time to do it, I'm afraid. Uh, Master Temple made me watch Stamps of Iran. I will never forgive him. <gasps> Amazing. <laughs> well, there we go. Right, I am going to go wash my hands because, as usual, they are filthy. So I shall be back in a moment. And we're back. So we have got two pound coins next. So we'll start with the two pound coins momentarily. I've got a bag of two pound coins and then a bag of 50 P's. And then that is your lot for today. The towel is changed. We're on the beautiful purple. But although it doesn't look purple, I, can t I guarantee you it is purple. Lady M and Bungle uh, that are in the chat, I'm sure they will confirm the towel is purple. <laughs> looks fairly blue to me it does look very <laughs> blue it looks unbelievably blue right now um but i'm sure it will <laughs> change over now what type of camera do you use for your live streams you seem to have to be able to have good focus on the coins whilst also having multiple screens they are just logitech hd doodah dedoids um that's about all i know <laughs> <laughs> you can actually see the the webcam for the uh, the coins in the face cam on the bottom left. Oh yeah, the rest are there. There, see, Gracie's mm. Gracie's paying attention. <laughs> Obviously, it's facing down at the moment, but right. Health alert. I vape. You shouldn't vape. Don't vape. It's dangerous. You will spontaneously combust. So do as I say, not as I do. Uh, if you have any other words of wisdom that you would like to share. Um, feel free and go ahead. Some of the things you come up with is absolutely cracking. My favourite is still uh, don't make eye contact eating bananas. So if anyone has a bit of advice <laughs> better than that, <laughs> let me know. The towel is a lie. Isn't it just? Isn't it just? 
It's the same as the fez, to be fair. That's purple too. That's actually, see, they do look different colours. It's the magical towel from the magical Bungle Studio. Mm -hmm. the fun is taking a colour. <coughs> exactly. Well, vape, do I have it? It's a Vupu. That's again all I know about that. Uh, Tamik, cont Tamik, we'll go with Tamik, says, I say this, <laughs> eating my pizza and checking <laughs> prices of 1943 copper pennies. Pizza is life. Ooh. Good advice. Good advice. Oh, oh there's nearly a full part there. Oh, oh. What? What? I was, I was blushing. <laughs> Tamik. Oh, it's when you went for the second name, I nearly had a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> don't float to space. Good idea. Don't yeah. uh, smoke. Don't veil. It's better for you. I don't think so, Jim. <laughs> Cheesecake rules and definitely a cake. Oh my goodness! Here we go. Bosex coin says, "Look at all those spammers in one place with a little spanner icon." Matthew says, "Team Sherlock. Team, it's, it's no hope. Team No Hope. Team No Hope." Well, I think we can both agree, as I've said before, that Team No Hope belongs to. Uh... Team Cathedral. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Emma's in a good mood. The, the, if Lady Emma's in a good mood, the towel is purple. If it's blue, what did you do, Bungle? What did you do? <laughs> Don't lick strangers. Agreed, Keza. Don't put pineapple on pizza. Agreed, Denise. Team Station says both selectors coins. Hmm. Team Pineapple says Lynn Mills. Oh, Grossy, but something in your club, Joe's Team Sherlock. No, I'm telling you, got... Team Sherlock, Joe collects coins. Welcome to the club. I think you've got you're going to be Next... you're going to be able to laugh at everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Next stop is Losersville. <laughs> <laughs> now is the time to get off. <laughs> Phoebe Stead, thank you very very much. Nice cap, look cool. Thank you very much. That's the two pound hat. Uh, actually, Gem Jamesy board. was the person who found it. Sporty girl, welcome to the club. Yes. See, there are some. Don't get married. <laughs> <laughs> God, everyone's team Sherlock Crumbs, uh, it must team. be your voice grossy You're hypnotising everyone, isn't it? <laughs> team royalty Hashtag team Basingstoke, amazing stoke indeed Jim Bones got the best advice so far Don't get married <laughs> Totally agree with that one <laughs> It's a hyper global colour towel According to Mark Aday. There we go. <laughs> very technical. Very, very technical. Don't hoard Bog Ross, says Martin Ross. <laughs> I love the jersey collection. In one million years, Q will be 50 billion. Man, oh man. If I was still here in a million years coin hunting, wouldn't that be good? Public health warning. Richard Branson is a taxpayer's liability. <laughs> 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 Hardly a liability. He hasn't paid it in a decade, has he? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, do you know English notes and stamps are made in Basingstoke? They were made not far from Basingstoke at Delarue, uh, Overton Whitchurch way, I think. I always get the two mixed up. But yeah, they're made very, very locally to me. But I think Delarue are on the rocks a bit, sort of financially. I'm not sure if they're about, or they were on the verge of folding or busting because obviously the, was it the passports? Uh, the new British yeah. passports were were going to be made instead of at Delarue, made on the continent. So France. I think I don't know. Anyway, no, that's getting a little bit political. We should, we should, I think we need to sidestep that oncoming train. I think. <laughs> um, new hats. Uh, yeah, the two pound coin hat. I I was wearing it on the um, quiz the the night I did the quiz. Where's the fez? We'll get back to the fez. <coughs> Uh, when we get onto the 50 P's. Hello, we hello. Oh, oh, we have got ah, absolute coins. Good evening. Hello. How's Thank going? you very much for joining us. How are you? Good. Food. <laughs> All. I watched your videos. I, I was I was catching up and you you did put those coins you found in the Easter hunt into the books. Did. I am very much approve of it. I felt so bad for you. Very much approve of your blue towel. <laughs> it's purple. It's purple. It doesn't look purple, but it is. Your towel is blue. Your towel is blue, and so is your fez. <laughs> and so is my fez. My my hat is rainbow at the moment. There is a bit of blue there. 
Right, so we're getting some two pound coins then. I should probably say what we're looking for then. I should probably say what we're looking for. Pet shout outs, I guess, considering we don't have a second bag of 10 peas. Let me show you what we're looking for in the book and then we can do some pet shout outs. I think that is a fabulous idea. But 10 peas, all we are after is Scotland Commonwealth Games. We've got all the rest of them, with the exception of the Navy Centenary with the flag error. But that's a variant, so if we do find Scotland, we will end the book on that and start a new book. Because we could be hunting forever for that flag error. Although I used to find a fair few of them. But there we go. Shall we do some pet shout-outs then? If you've got a pet and you want to shout, you want to shout it out, myself or one of the other coin tubers on the cool, uh, we'd, be, we'd be glad to give your pet a shout-out. Anyone in the call wants to shout out your pets? It's gone purple. It's gone purple. It's gone purple. <laughs> I reckon that's some sort of filter. That's some sort of camera effect. I don't have the knowledge, skill, or understanding to be able to do that. It has gone purple. Well, show us the fez then. Show us the fez. Is the fez purple? How purple is that? There's a slight yeah. delay. <laughs> Pungle Wait says ADM is in the better mood now. Well, Maybe it's purple, who knows, who knows. I'm, just, I'm starting saying who knows now as well, I've been watching too much. <laughs> Keen Reagan's <laughs> shout out for Millie the dog and Jasper the cat. Joseph yeah. Cassidy wants shout out for, the, for his dog Bailey. Harry Majors, Bob the dog. Ron M is Rolo the French bulldog. That's an awesome name. <laughs> then we have Lucy the black lab, who's a regular viewer. Charlie the dog from Doncaster. Pickle the Dinosaur. I've seen Pickle the Dinosaur now. Sporty Girls, Daisy the Cat. Hattie the Dog. Joseph's other dog, Biscuit. I don't Who's know why Charlie's saying Lady M is buzzing. Bella, Bella the Dog, she's a good girl. Nala the Cat, however, is not a good girl. Oh dear. Whether the Cat. Tell and we have... Cat. Lovecon, is it actually jokes? raining where you are? Is that just part of the joke? Is it raining where? Steve often says that his cat with, uh, has gone into the chicken coop high <laughs> from the rain. <laughs> Can't be raining anywhere one. in the UK right now. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. So Pitchard's got very posh cats. Dudley the cat and Philip Edward the chihuahua. Amazing, amazing names. Lucy it must Chihuahua be related and to you, Mundesley. Bailey the dog is getting a shout out right now, Stevie Rob. There seems eight-year-old cat Tom. Coins and more with Lucy has a pet goldfish, Goldie, who is five years old. How long do goldfish live? Is five old for goldfish? I don't know. Oh, no, it's not. Ah, okay. I can confirm that it is raining with Steve Afton. Breaking it's news. Breaking news. The weatherman. <laughs> but Stay tuned. Ten problem. minutes for travel. <laughs> I think the roads are going to be pretty clear right now. I think that there's a good chance of that. I think there's a good chance of that. <laughs> Joseph Cassidy's got another pet. Crumbs, you've got a menagerie. Willow the cat. I've always wondered how many of these pets actually exist. <laughs> and how many of... Because I used to do that. You used make to make up, up fake pets? Well, Benjamin Bunny, that kind of thing. I used to comment that. They're, they're everyone's uh, pets. See, it's really. all, it's all out. Prince, 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 Scandal. Prince, Prince Grossi <laughs> is a spammer. <laughs> I'm not a spammer. <laughs> <laughs> We've got make up magnanimity. Pets. Magnanimity, is that right? Magnanimity. Magnanimity. <laughs> Hot diggity you used to make up pets. Pardon? You used to make up pets. Well, I didn't really make them up, but it's sort of fictional pets. Like, like Imagine Benjamin pets. Bunny. And... Does this class as a royal scandal, then? A royal scandal? <laughs> right, can we spot anything? I'll let the chat spot anything first. I think I spot something. I spot something. Yeah. I spot two things. Miniature dash house. I spot... I think I spot... Do I spot two things? No, just one. It's tough at the top. Joseph Cassidy says, Christopher, can you do an edge hunt? Yes. 
<laughs> currently happening. Husky named Lita. Top one, top one, top one. It is. What is it, though? What does it say? Let me just put something on the other side of it. So I'm not going to totally give it away. Completely bozo it. What does it say? Oh, crumbs. Who can read that? Um... No, not unless I'm jiggling them around, that's for sure. It says the... Mariner? The Mariner? The Mariner. Serving AV. the AV. Mariner. Serving the Mariner. Maybe, is it like Navy, Marine? Isn't it? Marine, yeah, like some some sort of. It looks too worn and battered to be a Navy centenary. Yeah, it's definitely M A R I N E R. Mariner. Marina, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe. Serving the Marina. <laughs> Marina. <laughs> <laughs> Mariner. That's a yacht. What? <laughs> mariner, like a like someone that looks like a. Well, a mariner. I don't know. Yeah, something to do with boats. Yeah, something to do with boats. I thought. Well, I was thinking of the word marine. I have no idea. It also what this has is. something to do with boats. Is it the? Is it the? Um, Navy if it's Mary Rose, Rose, we're not going to talk again. No, that's, 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 um, <laughs> that's the um, the Audi shippy, isn't it? Trinity House says carrot collects. Lighthouse, Navy Centenary. Yeah, that could be. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll go with that. Ah, the Trinity House would make sense. Hmm. Let's have a look then. It is Trinity House. There we go. Mm -hmm. Points to people that said Trinity House. There you go. I'm going to look really silly here. What is Trinity House? A lighthouse, is it not? Uh, I guess that, but where is it? <laughs> what is it? Um, where? Your guess is as good as mine on that one. <laughs> it's one of my favourite designs though, it's a, nice, a really neat design. It's like a railway lamp, an old railway lamp. <laughs> <I think. laughs> hey on Christopher. Yeah. Go back to that coin. Charlie JHTV says check the error on it on the nose. On the nose? On oh, Queen. On the nose. Anyone would have thought it's bungle in disguise. <laughs> 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 Buggy, yeah. you're gonna to have to come into this corner in a minute and defend your honour. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I can't tell. It's got the, that's it. It's the bogey error. Uh, the the bogey bogey error. error. <laughs> <laughs> I must admit, those little like cut errors and things—they don't do anything for me. I don't really look for them. But apart from the navy centenary, the flag. Oh, there we go. A double mir mirroring. We've got uh, Shakespeare's Tragedies. Lovely stuff. That's our first overface valley. Step coin. Chris, it's strange that I've hunted £400 of £2 coins and never have I found a single Florence Nightingale. That is bizarre, isn't it? Can you shout out my little brother Jake, please? Of course. Shout out to Jake. Right, do we spot anything else? I don't think so. I think this one's a bust bat, bust hand. Always through them. Bron M makes quite a good point. The flag error. It actually, considering it's an error, it looks so much like a flag. The, then, yeah, the, the actual flag error does, but the, the half flag doesn't, obviously. But that's an error because the original design was supposed to have the flag, isn't it? Or the NIFC version has, has the flag. Ah. Uh. So I would class that as an error rather than having a little bit of extra cud metal on it. Right. There's definitely something in I, there. Let's see who picks I it up. I spy things. another. Yeah, I'm, right in the middle. I won't get it away, but I spy with my little eye. <laughs> I'm going to put my money on that being a Trinity house. <laughs> well, I was going to try and let everyone else decide, but never mind. <laughs> Do I win? Big ears on the Queen, says Robert Roberts. Just above the middle, he asks. Is it the same one? It looks like it is. It looks like it is. Oh, well, eagle eyes absolute coins there. Doesn't even hunt £2 coins and he knows it. Amazing stuff. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Sean, for that information. Apart with the 60, 20 houses all over England and Wales. Oh, well, Christopher, just uh, just caught up on the lag there. Can you pick up that Trinity house again? Look at the Queen. Has that got the blue rinse error? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I get a blue sharpie pen out. We'll see what we can do. We'll make a fortune on eBay, <laughs> coloring in our coins. <laughs> blue rinse error. That's brilliant. Nothing else there. No, have you had a star find of the week? Absolute coins. I swear, if you found another, uh, just switched off for a second there. Yeah. <laughs> did you, what did he say? You had a star, a star find of the week. Uh, no, but I have got a video coming up again on Saturday. Yeah. I managed to source some coins in. in... Mm. So it'd be next. Just uh, I don't know if anybody gets anybody is struggling to get coinage. Just to try this little tip go to your local news agent or whatever with money that you'd normally take back into the bank and just answer it just say i've got a hundred pounds worth of 50 p's you know just swap it with what you've got yeah and see what you if if, if you can strike up a rapport like that so that's what i'm doing at the moment oh. just when i go up to get my milk and whatnot that's fair enough i guess if they can't get to the banks themselves get coins as well that'd be handy well, I'm just literally swapping what I've got for face value with what they've got, uh, same denomination. Yeah. But um, we're still getting delivery, I think, deliveries from like Securicore and whatnot. Ryan has spotted something at the bottom. There's two in that one, isn't there? <clears throat> the top yeah, I think well. so. So the bottom one, I'm trying to see what it says. Um, it says something will turn up. I know this is. Something will turn up. I'm pretty sure I got a glimpse of it, but I, I won't say anything. But yeah. Ah. No, what this one. I thought I saw Guy Fawkes, but I don't know. It's not Guy Fawkes, that's a remember, remember. Oh, of course. What's the one? There's another one with a little. Something will remember. turn up. Remember. I don't know these very Top well. one is the Holy slave Toledo. Trade, Am I, yeah, I might not say. I think the third one in's a fake two pound. There we go. I've listened to Slave Trade is one at the top, well guessed. Bottom one though, something will turn up. Darwin, no. Slave Trade, no. Shakespeare, something no. Turn up. Train, no. DNA, no. Comedies, no. I think it's Charles Dickens. This is where I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Da 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 da. Very common. That was, I think that's everything in that bag, though, isn't it? Jeremy said he thought that was a fake. Oh, this no, one. The third, no, the third one down, there's a standing on the shoulders of giants. It's really massive. They're eating like it's really big. That one there, yep. Hmm. It looks fine to me. I see what you mean. The, the letter, lettering is rather large. Large, or whether it just looks larger because it's in better condition, I don't know. Really good condition. But no, I don't think there's anything else in this bag. No fakes. When's the next PO Box video? Uh, probably Thursday. Probably Thursday. I was hoping my whole collection video was going to be ready for Thursday, but it is not, unfortunately. I thought I was making really good progress uh, sorting out my collection, because I want to get it all organised before I record it. Um, and then I found a whole bunch of coins I didn't realise I still had. Uh, so I have got an extra at least a couple of nights are worth of um, organising to do. But I do have a week off, the second week of May, so if it's not done by then, I will definitely do it that week. Yay. I've convinced them to come and defend his honour. Who we are. <laughs> Robert Roberts says, all coins are fake. Amazing. <laughs> my star find last week was that I found that I could cut my own hair. <laughs> a DIY haircut. DIY haircuts. I look like Mr. Tina. <laughs> I'm not brave enough. I'm not brave enough. Bruno's portrait there. So who's the, who, who's joined in then? Bungle, Bungle but he's not but he's currently on mute. Oh, I see. It's me. Hello, good evening. Hello, everybody. You're gonna you hit set, to set the record straight. 
yeah, I have to defend my honour. I'm not sure why. <laughs> <laughs> started off calling me Del Boy, and then Martin Thomas had to go at me. And, oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm sat here crying in the middle oh. of the pudding. Uncle, who could you Del Boy? <laughs> what, what are you? A lot of you weren't there, Al. It was, it was early doors. <laughs> oh, someone called you Del Boy, and they're still yeah. breathing. Yeah. <laughs> I can't think why. Sorry about, I make the rules up or whatever. I'm not, I'm not sure where that comes from. <laughs> I'm all, I was also intrigued what Robert Roberts means about my free gift. Yeah, what do you say about your free gift, Bungo? I don't know what that is. Give us, give us a clue. <laughs> Unbelievable. Darren Cheshire wants to know as well. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm at a loss. I, I totally give in. <laughs> I want to know too. I watched your PO Box video. You and you're touching your coins. Oh my goodness, Bungo. Oh, there's another one up tomorrow, and I'm afraid it's the same again. I had to. Uh, I had to cut it in half. It was too long. I was uh, Lady M was waffling on, you know, like she does. Oh, Lady M was. I see. Yeah. Hang on, my, my off, towel's changing that. colour. It's going even more blue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's, uh, the second half's up. Uh, is up tomorrow. I see. Yeah, second one down. Someone has pointed out. Yes. And fourth think? one down. What do we think the second one down is? I'm not going to let anyone else guess. Like uh, absolute coins just did with the other one. I think it's on London Underground. London Underground. It's not London Underground. <laughs> no, it's not London Underground. Really? No. It's the Trevithic, isn't it? Yeah, the steam locomotive. Oh no, the Underground one's the one with the the. the it's the a straight station. line, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Ooh, let's put it with the other one I found. There was another one though. I can't recall where it was. The second one. What does that say? Uh, mold. What? Hollow. Hollow not crown. mold. Shakespeare's mold. <laughs> mold. What is wrong with me? Mold. <laughs> Who put something in my coffee? <laughs> is, that the, is that the Sillip Bang two-pound coin? The Sillip Bang. <laughs> 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 the Hollow Crown. See who gets it first in chat. Uh, Mac and Moolas is histories. I, agree. I would agree. I would agree. Dentistry one. Here Dentistry. Dentistry. <laughs> <laughs> We've got histories and tragedies. We're just missing a comedies. The chances of finding that, though, are slim to none down here. I think that was everything, though. I think we've got Ungo. absolutely diddly left. Ungo. Holy Toledo. Uh, Philip, uh, Phoebe Sten says, Christopher, are you still working in this lockdown? I am, yes. Uh, my job uh, is still continuing. In fact, the company has got us designated as key workers, but I don't think that's... Um, we're not as hard working as all the nurses and delivery drivers and whatever. But helicopters need some to land. <laughs> <laughs> very true. Very, very true. We've got Guy Fawkes, per member, per member. So Bungle, have you had any star finds then? Um, yeah, there's one coming up on Friday. Ooh. All my all my Christmases came at once on, uh, yeah. on the 50p hunt that's going on Friday. So. Oh, I haven't edit, edited it yet. We only yeah. just filmed it about an hour or so ago, but yeah, it was a uh, one of the best coins we've ever found. Wow. Did I say the F word? Uh, I wouldn't say the F word. You won't get invited on here again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, it doesn't, it doesn't begin with F. Does it begin with K? No. No, it does not. That's okay. all. That no more now. clues. No more clues. Oh, Tune yeah, in no. Friday. Yeah, Paddington definitely. out of the magnanimity. Not Paddington, just the magnanimity. What am I on about? Goodness gracious. <laughs> it's been a long day, people. It's been a long day. See, it's so common, it's even spreading to the two pounds now. Exactly. <laughs> that's, that's the way it is. I'm going to start drawing Paddingtons onto that coin. See, I want you to give a shout out to your boy. Who? Shout out to my son, son, Camille. Hello, Camille. So we do. It was James's idea last week. Shout outs to loved ones that we haven't had a chance to go see due to the lockdown. If you have got a loved one uh, that you haven't been able to see, that maybe you've been able to phone or FaceTime or house party. House party? That's it. It's not, not house chat, is it? I go first on that, please, Christopher. Yes. I uh, just want to say a massive shout out and I still love you, babe. Good night, Lee. To Kira Knightley. <laughs> I was going to do the same thing, but I was going to say Dan Temple. <laughs> I was going to say Andy, a coin cupboard. We miss you, man. Exactly. Come back yeah. soon. Do you miss Andy, a coin cupboard? So he's saying to my husband, still working. He's a postman. Wow. 
isn't it Denise who's looking for a new mister? Yeah, does, does mister. the postman know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, can we just Robert Roberts? Can we just put him out of his misery? Yeah, the rainbow purse. I got a free. Well, Lady M got a free purse. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah. On the PO box, so that's what uh, that's what he was talking about. The free gift. Yeah. Are you going to use it, there, Bungo? Uh, no, no, I'm not. I've um, I've looked at it. You know, it's it's in a it's pride of place in all the in all the treasures we get from the PO box, but no, it hasn't been used yet. I see. Uh, Nassim says, shout out to my niece Amara. Temple Strasers wants I'll you to cut, cut his hair, hair Jamesy. Yeah, I'll cut his hair in any time. Uh, I'll brush was going to say Tom Hiddleston and Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> okay. Uh, De Griffster says, hello to my mum, uh, Anita, in Norfolk. Hannah Chapman, better days are ahead. When is this video of all Rob Whitehorn stuff going up? So that that's for me. So Carrick's, uh, it's uh, the ah. second part of my P.O. box. Everyone seems obsessed with my P.O. box. Um, <laughs> oh, you don't miss a P.O. box video. The, the chat do not like that. The messages uh, no. you will get. Tomorrow. So the second half's up tomorrow. So the things that Rob Whitehorn from Australia sent us is up, is up tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, Sadman 2K says shout out for all the key workers. Totally agree. Steve Afton says shout out to my uh, wife Emma. There we go. Right. On with the coins. Obviously, if anyone else wants to shout out a loved one, I'm sure one of the guys in the call will shout them out. I'll do a shout out to uh, Ronald. Ronald. Yeah, McDonald. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's been so long since I had McDonald's. Oh. Are the drive throughs still open? No, 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 they're completely closed. drive throughs are actually being used for NHS purposes now, and this is not a joke. You're using them as drop-off centres for people that are doing the tests. You oh. drive through, drop it through the window, and then go. Oh. So that was really cool. Yeah. Well, they've opened the Costa Coffee at my back. Thank you. Drive through. You can get a coffee. I thought all the costas had closed as well. No, it was open again. They've opened all the B and Q's again this weekend, haven't they? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Sarah Walker says shout out to my son Kasim. Al, is there a B and Q in Swansea? Yeah, there's a, a couple actually. No, it's S W A N. S E A. Amazing. Oh dear. <laughs> he got, yeah. Oh my god. Oh, dear, yeah. I, would, I feel like my I feel like my actual father just adopted a northern accent to tell a joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a beauty. Keza says shout out to all the coins for keeping us all laughing. Oh, thank you very much. Well thank you. Thank you for watching. I'm sure the guys will agree. And thank you for watching the videos. Shout out to TG's Gran. It's a birthday. In just over a week, oh, and she messes up. Happy birthday to her! Yeah. Have a big shout out for all the Discord family. A big up you all for keeping the coins going and keeping Amber smiling. There we go. Yeah. Hashtag dad jokes is Ron M. What have we got here then? <laughs> this is definitely <laughs> is something. One. I can't quite figure it out. Could it be a Navy Centenary with the flag error? And it's got the... Hmm. Ooh, Magna Carta. Ooh. I know Bungle loves loves these with all the little bits of extra metal. I can't spot anything. It looks fine to me. No, that one's fine. Lovely find. He's holding a sausage roll, though. Is that nice? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess gosh. so. I miss Greg's as well now, actually. I don't even remember I miss Greg's. The funny thing is he's holding a sausage roll in one hand and a banana while looking into somebody's eyes, which is a normal. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if you answered my question. Any Everything cut out. Can you re-answer? What was Bez's question? Uh, can I ask, where do you get your vast sums of change? Do you call your bank and ask for what you want? Do they charge you? I have business accounts, which I use to get the coins out and in. I can order them online. And yes, there are fees and charges for getting the coins. I hope that answers your question. Somebody's teased Reddit. 
Oh, there we go. Guy Fawkes, very common. And don't worry about Pemember. Don't worry about it. I think Bungle's T's ready because he just muted on Discord. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Bungle's T's ready. What do we think Bungle's having for tea then? Did you say, what do you think Bungle's what? What do we think Bungle's having for tea? I don't know. Oh. Question. He's to put his rainbow jammies on and get himself all washed up. <laughs> You're dead right. I have to mute because the other members of the house are shouting up to the other members of the house that tea's ready. And I'm sure that everybody watching this didn't want to know. So on Bungle, we're having a game. We're guessing what you're having for tea. Yeah, yes, I know. Yeah, I'm still here. I'm still here. Yeah, go on then. Have, have a guess. Uh... Oh, there's the smoke yeah. alarm going off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. whatever, whatever it was it'll be going in the bin <laughs> uh, I say that's part of the course around my, my, my cooking it's an oven chips with something bungle Ooh. yeah no it's got it'll have gravy on I'm sure because northern boys love gravy bleed it yeah, son you bleed it <laughs> and Trinity House again Bung was having, I reckon, fish fingers and chips. Yeah, fish fingers, chips and beans. That is the, that is the tea of champions. That loads yeah. of tomato sauce. <laughs> I disagree. Beans on toast. Phoebe's having spaghetti bolognese. Oh, lovely. Hello, Oliver. Thanks for tuning in. Does Trinity does the Trinity House have the error? Oh my goodness! Here we go again. <laughs> what are we looking for? The Queen knows error. No, there's a few errors on the Trinity House. I'm sure there is Bungle. <laughs> if, um, <laughs> have you found a Trinity, ho a Trinity House? My live stream's so behind on the telly, it's like watching it in the past. Uh, I'll come back to it. Oh, yeah, someone's got the light, light bulb error. The light bulb error. Light bulb error. <laughs> <laughs> but there's three, uh, there's three errors I've seen on the Trinity House, so it's quite hard to, to describe. But you've got the... The three round bits, only three circles in the middle for the for the bulb or whatever, and in each corner there's a little bit each corner of where the roundy things are. I'm pointing at the screen, so can you not tell? Um, <laughs> Hold on, let me get a, let me get something to. Oh, go on then, yeah. It'll be a few. It'll be I'll a few channel seconds my inner behind bungle here. My inner bungle here. Um, this for oh, here. Go on, pull it. I'd, I'd be amazed if you pull a cocktail stick out. It'll make my night. <laughs> that there. <clears throat> Yeah, I reckon I'm about 10. The lag's about 10. So, oh, a pen, right. Yeah, so in, in that window there, so up. Oh, is in fact, is that one? I can't quite see. I'm staring. Yeah, so there's, there's either one there or just to the right of it in that in that corner, yeah, right there, or in the opposite corner to the right-hand side of where you're pointing. The opposite it's corner to the right-hand side I'm pointing to. Yeah. yeah. Diagonally across. There. Is, is, there a, is there a bit of cud in there already? Is, is that there is, filled yeah. in that window? A little bit yeah. in there. Yeah, so the bit in there, they're right next to it. They can also be a little bit. And then if you go a little bit further over to the right in the other corner, you can get one in that corner as well. I see. Not, up, up, not diagonally, up a bit. Go Just go to the 90 degrees to the right. It's quite hard because I'm 10 seconds behind you on the telly. 90 degrees, it's 180. <laughs> Straight across is 180. Yeah, there, yeah. So you're there now. So there's sometimes that little window's filled in. You know on the, um, on the Paddington at the Palace era, where you get that one where the window's filled in on the Palace? Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit like that on the Trinity House. You get three of them. Understood. Right. Do you That was hard work, wasn't it? Right, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, ring, I'll ring off while you have me tea. Thank you for joining us, Bungo. Have a good one, Bungo. 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 Right, last bag of two pound coins. Uh, Tamek says, I just had a pizza, but now I'm wanting a roast. Oh, I could have a roast. I could so have a true. roast. I just asked. Steve Afton said, not, not too long ago, chips... Chips and gravy, right? Which yeah. is delicious. Yeah. I don't know whether or not this is a thing everywhere or maybe just in Wales. When you go, like, you've had a night out, you go to the kebab house, you get chips, cheese, and gravy. Anybody else? No, mm. don't put cheese on no. your chips. Cheesy chips, oh, I agree with, but not with gravy as well. Just cheese and gravy. Oh, I like ch chips and gravy, but no cheese and gravy. Ugh. No, I think the worst thing that I've ever seen people do on a night, after a night out, is. Getting their chips and ketchup and mayonnaise on top of it. 
What's wrong with you? That's the best. That uh, is absolutely <laughs> vile. And especially when they mix it in together. It looks See like See me something... doing this in Cardiff. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I commented on it. <laughs> oh. When's the next peer box opening? Probably Thursday. Bungle's got one. Did you say Friday? I think it's Friday, yeah. He's got a tip part of uh, Poutine in Canada is beet, beetler, chips, cheese, curds, and gravy. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I am aware of poutine. It's not something I'm a massive fan of, I'll admit. But then we get star fine. I'm going to say it's Magna Carta. Mm. Lovely stuff. Chips and curry sauce, it should be after, I think. Oh, I like chips and curry sauce, yes. Yeah. I, Steve, after Phoebe. next time down the mint, you're having that chips, cheese, and gravy. <laughs> Phoebe Stern says uh, chips and a bucket of mayonnaise. Oh. The Grifster says you can buy Heinz mayonnaise mixed with ketchup now. Oh, that is just disgusting. Keza says chips, gravy, sausage roll, and mushy peas. Mm-hmm. Chips, gravy, oh, and oh, coins. Slaw. Oh, coins, you're disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have vegetables in Scotland, so coleslaw's out the game. <laughs> we do have vegetables, it's just that they've been in the fat fryer. I was going to say, it's bad, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that like deep frying a Mars bar? Mm. Chips with tomato soup poured on top. That sounds quite nice, actually. The one thing I can't stand is vinegar on chips. Oh, no, you drown oh, them in vinegar. I've got to have vinegar on chips. Disgusting. Oh, my mouth is salivating the thought of having vinegar on chips. <laughs> but I will go... I will go back to a comment have vinegar just... on chips. No, vinegar on chips is disgusting. What the... <laughs> it's like <laughs> vile. Vile. you fussy eaters. <laughs> what? No, you. Do, what you need is on chips. I'm telling you, all you need is just to have them not soft chips, but if you've got crispy chips with just a bit of salt on, and that's perfect. I don't put salt on anything. You're a psychopath. Otherwise, every time you go to the fish and chip shop, what do they say? Salt and vinegar on that, mate. Yeah, and I say no. Just vinegar, please. They, they, they <laughs> offer it because it's a thing. And oh. I, and Edinburgh, they give you salt and sauce, salt and brown sauce, and it's that brown sauce that's pure watered down with vinegar. Oh dear, the chat is turning on uh, you, Prince Gracie. No, Phoebe yeah. Stone's not. Phoebe, Phoebe thinks that <laughs> that vinegar's not good on chips, and I agree. There you go, Stevie Robs. They're getting salt and sauce. Salt and because sauce. Because the chips just absorb all the liquid, and then they get all mushy, and it's horrible. That's the whole point, vinegar. Oh, the <laughs> argument with, with vinegar. <laughs> Why don't you just use water? Then? Why use water? Something that doesn't actually you know, taste water bad. Water doesn't taste like vinegar. Cheeseburger with cucumber. Hmm. No, Coffee no. with tea with mayo. That can't be right. Well, I will go back to something that someone brought up a, little, a couple of minutes ago, and that was the uh, deep fried Mars bar. Oh, it's amazing. Deep fried Mars I Mars had been minutes. wanting to try one for absolutely years. Well, ask a chip shop, do it. Well, down no down here they're not as it's not as easy to find. But I found a chippy one time that did it, tried it, and for those of you that haven't tried it. Essentially, tastes like a Mars bar that you left in your glove box throughout the summer, <laughs> and then decided to eat it. They've obviously not made it right. It's a different kind of batter in England as well. Apparently, the, someone wants to know opinions. Oh, it's Charlie Jai HTV wants opinions on square slice. Square sausage. Square sausage is the great sausage ever invented. Yes, I will agree with that. Mm-hmm. Square know. sausage, potato scones, and black oh, pudding. Yes. Oh, yes. A staple for any fried breakfast. You mean scones? <laughs> no, I'm joking. Let's not, let's not go there. <laughs> well, I'm doing go a fair swap there so you guys can duke it out and scone or scone. Uh, it's, Where are we? I did, I did it, try it, deep fried say, ice cream. Have you ever had deep fried ice cream? I've heard about it. It's sounds it's interesting, a... but I can just... It's What's very interesting? Good. Deep well, coins, what you meant to say was, I've heard about it, and it's mental. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. much. When somebody told me, I thought they were having a joke, deep fried ice cream. How is that possible? But it is possible to deep fry an ice cream. Rets and Relim has joined the, the Twitch chat. Hello to you. Poached eggs with black pudding. I'm not a massive fan of poached eggs. They're just very rubbery. Fried eggs, yes. Scrambled eggs, yes. Uh, Hard boiled eggs, yes. Yes. Fried pizza, deep fried pizza. Deep fried pizza, wow. Thing. 
that could be interesting as well. <laughs> can't be a thing. <laughs> deep fried, deep fried deep hash fried browns. Pizza. Deep fried Excellent. hash browns are the best thing. Hello, Dalton Gearing. I'm great. Thank you. I hope you are well as well. Just John says, I've seen somewhere in I so deep. What? I so deep fried salad. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jamesy, I need someone to, to translate for me. And here's the <laughs> here to translate for the <laughs> oh, no pickled eggs. Don't pull those faces. Pickled eggs are amazing. I love pickled Melted eggs. cheese oh. on crumpets. The sound of that. Cheese on crumpets. That's actually oh. cheese on crumpets. No, to be like fair, crumpets. I would have to say my favourite meal. I think that might be my lunch tomorrow. <laughs> Here we go. Right then. Have you tried marmite on melted cheese? I'm not a massive fan of marmite. I see what he's writing. John wrote, wrote there's a place in Scotland called Air. He meant to write Air instead of I, and they sell oh. deep fried salad. But I've never seen deep fried salad. Deep Can't fried cheesecake. Bad. Yes, sign me up. Banana sandwich with salt and vinegar crisps. I it's, think we need to do a. a bit odd. Just don't make eye contact when you're eating it. <laughs> <laughs> I think cool. for the next mint trip, we arrange sort of a uh, Scottish a cookery room. program. <laughs> and we <laughs> all just room. bring something Scottish to cook deep out. fry. Yeah. I'll just bring my deep fat fryer, right, since we all get them. Allocated yeah. <laughs> by the government. <laughs> Have you tried Magna Carta and ketchup? What? <laughs> Okay, Temple says, says jam on Yorkshire puddings. Uh, jam on oh, Yorkshire right. puddings. Yeah. I can't really judge because yeah. do you know what I've been trying a lot of recently is no butter on different stuff. And what I found it was quite nice on the other day was a little <laughs> slice of margarita pizza. <laughs> <laughs> With peanut butter. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. We need to lift I've this just, lockdown. I've before. just got visions of Absolute's coins sitting there sort of spreading butter over his mama. <laughs> no, 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 no. Margarita no, no. pizza. What I was doing was I had I had it open in front of me with a knife and then I like you know I cut a little piece and then like I just put a little be- piece on to try. But uh, Steve Afton, just to answer that question, does anyone have cheesy beans on toast? Steve Afton invented cheesy beans when I was in university. <laughs> no, that's, that's baked beans and dish, brown dish, sauce isn't it? is cheese on toast and uh, Welsh rarebit. Yeah, it is. I always cow. thought it's quite exotic, and I thought, I'll try that Welsh rare bit, and then somebody handed me cheese on toast. <laughs> yeah. Disappointing. The other one is, like, it's quite a famous Welsh uh, delicacy, is a uh, cowl, which is basically the same thing that everywhere in the UK has a variant of. It's like uh, Liverpool have got scouse, got broth, got stew, all the same thing. Yeah, if you're <laughs> in Wales, have a cowl. Eggy bread, that's French toast in Scotland. Yeah, French, French toast is alright. With maple syrup. Slather it in maple syrup. Oh, it's divine. French toast and brown sugar is nice. No, maple syrup. Tuna and cheese. Oh, my God. This is turned into cookery with Christopher. <laughs> <laughs> Ever tried Nutella with apples? Oh, no. That could be interesting. Cheese on toast with mushrooms. Aaron Cheshire says Scouse is brilliant. Never actually tried it. Did have the opportunity once when I was in Liverpool, but ketchup on pancakes, hey? This is all getting very, very odd. Pot Marmite and cheese yes. is amazing. Okay, Jones. Jones. Pot Jones is right. Apple, apples, and peanut butter. No, if you get if you throw mashed potatoes into the mix, it's got to be mashed potato sandwiches. You throwing mashed potatoes it's around for what? You watch the badger. <laughs> yeah. Watch a lot mashed potatoes. Hey, well, right. I'm on that. I should just bow out now. There's the nothing good. Ninety people that. arguing over food. Holy yeah, <laughs> Toledo. <laughs> Harrison Orr has uh, joined the hunt over on Twitch. Harrison Orr nine. Right, 50 bees are more looking for. We are looking for Q Gardens. That would be an amazing, amazing find. We Boring are also coins. missing. Olympic triathlon, and I think we've got everything else up to and including peace, prosperity, and pepperonis maketh the breakfast coin. I think we should do the uh, Benjamin Bunny predictions again. Benjamin Bunny predictions, yes. Gracie, have you got pen and paper to hand? Uh, yes. I'm going to stick right, everyone, with my Everyone says week. yes when they don't and scramble to get one, but. Uh... I am going to stick with last week and say 12. Holy Toledo. I'm going to say three. Wait, 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 wait. So. 
Christopher, how many did he say? 12. I was going to show my fingers, but I don't have enough fingers. 12? Yeah. 12 Benjamin Bunnies. I've got a feeling. All right, well, <laughs> go and join Team Cathedral. Joking. <laughs> 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 joking. Um, what did everyone else say? I said three. So I'll two coins, three. I'll go, I'll go lower, I'll go two. James, Tell us Caledonian two. coins in the chats. And Al? Um, am I the last to pick? Yeah. Well, apart from me. So I'll just take an average of everyone. <laughs> what are you What are you taking? No, I, I, I'm going to say four, like I did last I'll take week. five. <laughs> <laughs> We got loads of yeses going in. Eight, three, seven, four, six, four, yeah, five, two, eight, seven, seven. If there's more than twelve, I win. Yeah. If there's anything between five it's... and nine. Yeah, there, there are a lot the... more numbers above twelve than there are between four and six or whatever your winning thing is. So. On, the, on the prices right, for example, you can be as far under but not a penny over. For that exact reason, but otherwise you would just guess a stupid amount. <clears throat> I can imagine your family are close personal friends with Bruce Forsyth or where since your boy oh. <laughs> oh, father yes my godfather is Bruce Forsyth should we do an edge hunt on these ones Go on. anyone spot anything yeah third from the top one two three Bungle one. might spot an edge error <laughs> that is a Britannia two coins has busted no, that's what I thought it was. No wins. No wins. <laughs> I want someone to guess an actual commemorative. Okay. The um the the, the seventeenth one down is hey. a dictionary. Roger so, Bannister. Nineteen, eighteen, seventeen. No. Shield. Bust. Fifth down. One, two, three, four, five. Says Sadman. No, you got a Britannia. <laughs> they all look too shiny. They look like shields and Britannias. I don't think. Off. Are all the edges the same? Number eight, two, four. <laughs> Not to two, spoil the uh... eight. <laughs> Britannia. Seven. All right, the, the, six, uh... Harry's Nan. Two, four, six, seven. Harry's Nan gets a shield. Nope. Denise Haynes says six, two, four, six. No, Denise. Denise gets a shield as well. There's going to be nothing in this. <laughs> Sini says fourth one down. Three, four. Ooh. Just jumbled them up. Nope. Sini's got a Britannia. Uh, Sporting says six. Two, four, six is a shield. Fourth from the bottom says Harrison Orr. Um, Britannia. There's going to be nothing in this bag, isn't there? Brian Barrett says five, two, four, five. Brian Barrett. Britannia. You've got five left, Christopher. Sean says third. Blow mm. your mind. Britannia. <laughs> Harrison or nine says second. Britannia. This would be really pathetic if there's nothing in this. Joseph Bradley says the bottom one. No, that's a shield as well. Uh, Danielle says second. Second. Whoa. Britannia. Diddly. Um, Laura Pelt says second as well. The new second place is a Britannia. Oh my goodness, we've only got five left. Third. Middle one. Middle one. Grace says middle one. Grace's got Britannia. Oh. Phoebe Stern says second down. Britannia. I'm going to feel really bad if there's absolutely diddly in this. We've got three Deadly. left. Deadly. Hannah Smith says the third one. Hannah Smith gets something. Holy Toledo. Goodness <laughs> gracious. We what got something. It? We got something. The Brexit coin. Ah. Oh. We've got two left. You can claim your points at Bungle Collects channel. <laughs> <laughs> right. I think this is going to be nothing. No, diddly. We had something. We had something. And who was it that got it right? Phoebe. Phoebe Stern. Phoebe. Points to Phoebe Stern. Right then. So anything Olympic would be good. 
Kew Gardens would be fantastic. Triathlon, though. If we get a triathlon, how good would that be? Although I did say, if I find a triathlon, we'll do a mega hunt to try and find the uh, Kew Gardens and call it and then, but I can't get enough coins for a, uh, a um, mega hunt yet, so that might have to be on hold. Brexit! The second. I don't know if it's because they're quite new into circulation, but I am starting to find tons and tons of Brexits. Whether they will die down. What do you reckon? Do you reckon they're going to release the other 7 million? I think so. If they've got them ready to go, then I don't see why not. Yeah, I suppose if they've got them ready to go, yes. But, um... I don't know. I don't think there'll be that much demand for new coins this year. Possibly not. So I don't know whether the Treasury can sort of go back on what they've requested. Well, they did with the Kew Gardens, didn't they? Did they? Yeah, they requested a certain amount and then and then um, reduced it partway through the year, didn't they? That's why they're so rare. Right, I reckon that'll happen this year. That's a nice dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> But I think there's already 3 million that were released, weren't there? The original release figure. Ooh. But 3 million, that's still going to be sort of fast as low mintage. Yeah, I would agree. If it's 3 million, then yeah, definitely. That's the only 50p I've not found yet. Nassim says, peace, prosperity and pepperonis. Exactly. Exactly. Can we change the most asked question the other way and say what's everybody else's favourite coin? Yeah, what's everyone else's favourite coin? Favourite circulating or non-circulating, we want to know what your favourite coins is. Is that question open to us as well? Exactly. Or? Go for it, Gracie. Yes. Well, I don't know. Um... <laughs> you asked like you had, a, like you had your answer already. <laughs> no, no I'd probably have to say my favourite Olympic is also my favourite coin, wheelchair rugby. No, bro, no, no. Uh, not trying to stir anything total coins. Martin Ross says WWF. Isaac Not Newton, to you Frank anymore. Frank says Amber. <laughs> <laughs> Isaac Newton says Steve like... Upton. Isaac Newton is a quite a popular answer, isn't it? Yeah. See, I would say Isaac Newton, but it's just I don't want to follow the crowd. It's a nice uh, coin, but I don't, I don't know. The coin collector says the Wallace and Gromit. It's a cool coin. I liked it in silver. I don't think it looked right in bunk. Mm, I thought it was nice in bunk. I liked it. 2018 Peter Rabbit's a sporty girl. I agree, it's a cool coin. Flopsy and Badminton. And the Queen £5 coin. Q says Newton and the Spitfire. Retsum says, I'm not much into coins, but I like the old three pence. Well, I hope you enjoyed that three pence video. <laughs> 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 I have enough of them now. Uncirculated mines is a D Day £2, and the Newton and circulated is canoeing and Guy Fox. On what, about, what about the uh, Croatian tuna one? No, no, I'm not. Is it 20, I'm not a big fan of fishing. 20 Leaper? So 10 Leaper? <laughs> tuna on it? Because I didn't realise you can get it in Latin and in Croatian as well. The, spell, the spelling mm -hmm. of the word tuna on that, fit, on that coin. <laughs> oh. uh, Mark Aday says the Euro 1996 football £2 coin. Sadman says Stephen yeah. Hawkins. Hello to Very Sad Polar Bear. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> what a name. What a name. What a name. <laughs> uh, Temple Stretcher says the new Team GB. Teague Bernice says Golden Guinea. Mac and Moolah says Newton and Stephen Hawking. Uh, the new Team GB says Northern Coins. Paddington at Basingstoke says Charlie Jai H. I can't see, see that as JH now. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Rish says one Irish shilling would be his favourite. Wow. I'm surprised hardly anyone says that Kew Gardens is their favourite coin, because it's actually a very nice coin, if you're talking about 50p. I'm not massive on the design, I must admit. Right, we've got Battle of Britain, we'll come back to you in a moment. I think it's, it's just the rarity value of it. I, don't, I just yeah. don't like it at all. But I agree with, I think it was Kevin, Battle of Britain and D-Day. Anything with war on it, I quite like as well. Mm. Are we going to get the first IRB Oh, Battle was that a 2017 shield? Quite possibly. <laughs> we'll come what? back. We'll come back to that though. Don't worry. 
Temple Stress also likes Taekwondo. Sean says Mary Rose or Great Fire of London. Candy Floss 50p says Katie James. Uh, Jim Bone says Newton and 2020 Team GB. The Four Horned Ram. La, 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 Lockton? Lockton? Lockton Ram? Lockton Ram, yeah. There we go. Learning, 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 learning. Dan Temples is surprisingly Taekwondo. Shock. T Bernice hates the steam locomotive design. It's not my favourite either, I will admit. Right, what do we got? We have got a JC, unfortunately. We are still hunting that IRB Battle of Britain. One of these days. One of these days. Have any of the coin chippers actually found an IRB Battle of Britain yet? Oh, actually, you cut, well, you cut out. You cut out. Oh, did it? Have any of the coin chippers found an, uh, an IRB Battle of Britain? I've not. I've never found an in IFC. No. no. Did Christopher ever tell you that time he found an NIFC? He's never told that story before. For the shield. <laughs> That's ancient oh. history now. That's ancient history now. <laughs> what the one that, the one that's um, the one that's repeated over and over and over and over <laughs> and over and over. Is it the one that's uh, no longer with us? Oh no, not that one. No, not that one. <laughs> More recent, yeah. What was it 2011 Shield? I think or was 2009 Shield. I found. I forget now. That was the same NFC that I got a couple of months ago. Chance is my Tyrannosaurus. Tyranno. Yeah, Tyrannosaurus. That's how you say it, right? Yeah. I love that back. coin. As you know, I'm pretty much in love with that coin. The one from... Oh, you should show it to me sometime, Jamesy. Westminster. I love it. I just like dinosaurs. What can I say, you have a kid? <laughs> it, is a cool, it is a cool coin, to be fair. We've got Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. To add to my horde of Tiggy Winkles. <laughs> There's more hedgehogs in your bedroom than there is in the whole of Britain. <laughs> Quite possibly. <laughs> Quite possibly. Feel free Magna to save that oddity me. for me. The what? <laughs> oh, the coins are really dirty, aren't they? Team Towers is the who geek. Exactly, exactly. We're going to win. We're going to win. Nope. Chris is not, sure not going to win. We have got a bunch of Binny. Not a Christopher Clex, not a Lady M, not a Bungle one. Not a grossy one. Not a grossy one. <laughs> There's a nice find. Jersey. Uh, 1998 on that one. Pretty cool. I don't know if I'm interested off the top of my head for the Jersey ones, I must admit. I normally wait to the edition to find that out. Looks well, like you've got a fan, Christopher. I've got a fan? Yep. Someone loves you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much, Justin Barnes. <laughs> we've got um, Victoria Cross, the medals there. And we've got another Bonjamin Binney. A bungle's not here. I was going to ask him if anyone has found a, um, a bungle. Get the comment that said the total coin speeds up his videos, but they still last 20 to 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I have no clue Who said that? how everyone is able to get it below that. <laughs> how much do you speed it up by? Uh, 1.2? <laughs> no, it goes out. I think it's 200%. Mine's Just, 500%. Mine's two yeah, times. Good. Changed mine to 400 recently. There we go. That's hey the guys, one you want to find. Paddington at the tower. Winner, winner. Let's not have a contest who's got the bigger percentage here. Bungle's <laughs> <laughs> back. Bungle's Did back. Did you eat all of your dinner, Bungle? You're not having dessert if you don't eat all your dinner. No deep fried ice cream for you, otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the answer. I've got the answer to why Total Coins' videos take so long. It's 50p's. Yeah. Because... He has to sort them as he goes along. Have you noticed? He has to get sort them shield to Britannia's, but they've got to be the right way up before he puts them down. Uh. <laughs> That's why he doesn't. You don't just flick through them, do you, Stuart? You literally flip them so they're the right way up when you put them on the when you put them down on the mat. Am, am I right or not? Yeah, because then when I'm sorting through them to look through the key dates, it's just a lot quicker. And that's why it takes three days for us to watch one hunt. 
Oh, wow. Rip, there's big talk from Bungle. Exactly. <laughs> 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 how long was your first PA box, Bungle? Oh, oh no, no, it's okay. I don't want any trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I had to take, I had to take two days off work to watch Bungo's first PO box video. <laughs> Thank you very, very much, Katie Jones, for the super chat. Oh, Lady Evergreen, Lady Evergreen. Bungo, Bungo, watch yeah. out for tea. Um, it was quite, a, quite an eclectic tea actually. There was sweet coffee. Well, it was quite. Oh, well, I just say it was unusual. Well, not unusual, but there was <laughs> sweet corn. Hang on, my but match turning even bluer. <laughs> oh, Bungo, you're in trouble. I know. I need to stop inviting Bungo into here because I'm going to get him divorced. <laughs> no, again, again, I don't want any trouble. It's just an observation. <laughs> I've just said so. There was sweet corn. There was um, cauliflower. There was uh, sausage in the hall. Gravy. What? Do you know to come for? Sausage in the hole. You know, where you get like a, a Yorkshire pudding with sausages in it. Yeah. Toad in the hole. I thought it was sausage in the hole. No, it's toad in the hole. <laughs> All right, toad in the hole then. Oh, Jeremy, Jeremy, sausage, Jeremy. sausage in the hole is something completely different. <laughs> it's the Jeremy Fisher in the hole, isn't it? Je yeah, to toad boy in the hole then. Yeah, Jeremy Fisher in the, in the hole. So there was that. And then there was roasties. There was salty roasties and, and gravy. Yeah, just thought it wasn't like a Sunday dinner, but then it wasn't. It wasn't sausage in the hall either. I just it was just unusual. It was nice though. It was nice. <laughs> and I'm not no there. <laughs> um, someone asked, "Who was it?" Do, 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 do. I've lost it. Oh, there we go. Uh, Brian Rich says, "Have they released any 2020 coins?" I have no clue. Uh, the dinosaur ones, yes. Oh, there we go. Olympic hockey. Ooh. Very cool. That's the star find so far. We got an Olympic. Amy thinks you're Scottish. Amy um, thinks you're Scottish. Bungle. <laughs> Amy asked, Bungle, are you Scottish or Jordy? Neither. <laughs> I'm in trouble, that's what it is. I just had a there while Lady M was there. Having, having a bash at me over the sausage in the hole. It was nice. <laughs> it, was, it was nice. I have, no, I have no complaints. It was a solid, solid 8 out of 10. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> only eight out of ten. That's terrible. I she could cook. No, but, but eight, eight, eight out of ten is reasonable because that's a good score. Surely anyone would be happy with an eight out of ten if it was your GCSEs. You know what I mean? Eighty percent <laughs> is probably an A star. You know. <laughs> So, I think if Bungle things. mentions one more time what he had for tea, this video is definitely getting demonetized. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very, very much, Sean, for the super chat. We have got Paddington at the palace. Oh, Bungle, just in time to tell us what errors you think are on this one. Um, so there's the Jamesy boy porky hat error. Yeah. No. There's the, the um, Dan, oh, it's not Dan Temple, Temple's treasure, Chris Packett error. No. Uh, I spy oh, yeah, the, uh, you, I spy the dot under the line. The yeah, you can see the there. crisp packet. Yeah, what? you can see the crisp packet. Bottom and left then... of the coin, there's a little lump of metal under a straight line. Hang on, let's get... Let me get my... It looks like one of them... You know them hopper things? You could jump on it at a football and then like a, a plastic ring. You yeah. have to it stand looks... on it and not fall off it. Looks like one of them. Just above... So... Space hopper? Left. No, no not a space hopper. Not... Up a bit. Uh, <laughs> you're there. And that's it. You're pointing at it. There's a little lump of metal under that straight line. A little lump? That is like a part of it. A little. That is yeah, and if lump. you look on a different one, it's obvious. When you look at a different one, there's no... Oh, uh... so this one isn't the error. It isn't the crisp No, it is the error. It, it is, is the, the error. error. <laughs> that is <laughs> the crisp packet error. That's the crisp particle error. I give up on you people. <laughs> <laughs> that is crisp dust. That is not a crisp packet. No, they're all different sizes because Laughter was telling me that it'll, they'll have all come from the same die. I see. So it starts off very small, then it gets big, then the debris goes over to the Pokey Hat error, and then it goes to the Watson family pigeon droppings on the shoulder error. I see. So, yeah, it's, it's as the die gets uh, more, <laughs> more and more broken up. It's true. <laughs> Ooh, what have we got there? That'll be something, surely? What do you think that's going to be? Which... That's you can still see Paddington at the cathedral. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm well behind. My prediction is Battle of Hastings. Oh, I just messed up all my piles of coins. Looks, it looks scraped. It looks as though it's been uh, jammed under a pool table or something. See how scraped it is at the bottom underneath the coins? Yeah, that's, yeah. Definitely, that's the pool table error, that is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Didn't ah. someone put their finger ah. on the die or something? Ah. <laughs> we've lost Jamesy, we've lost Jamesy. <laughs> Battle of Britain, suffragettes. I'll never hear that laugh on a live stream. Retson has said, what a total load of bungle. <laughs> oh. It is the Battle of Hastings. Very nice. That is also a keeper. Especially with that error. (laughs) (laughs) Right. Oops. Crash bang wallop. State uh, starts off as a crisp, then ends up as a full packet. There we go. We've got Peter Rabbit from 2017. That's half the 2017 set. We're on two bunnies. Who's winning at the moment, then, on the bunny challenge? Me. Peter Rabbit. James, said oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. God. Was, that bun- was that bunny challenge? Do, uh, am I ordering oh, yeah, you, you went for your lunch. Go on, then. What do you, what do you want? <laughs> no, it's I just, just how want... many Benjamin bunnies we're going to find. I Christmas just want my royalties because you basically you've all taken part in the Benjamin Bunny Challenge, which is definitely a Bungle Collect Coins exclusive. So <laughs> um, <laughs> he's going to be putting a copyright claim in. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, but Christopher will get demonetized if we get the copyright strike. <laughs> Amber's got a question for Bungle there. Bungle, if you'd like to read that one out. Yeah, no, I'm just ignoring it because she's just taking the mick out of me because she says I waffle on about how I go into coins. It takes about three days for me to tell a story and everybody nods off. So she's just having a laugh. Everybody should give Bungle his spotlight right now. I want to know because it's probably the most funniest story in the world. Yeah, no, it's not. We haven't, we haven't got time for it, Jamesy. No, 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 no. <laughs> Christopher wants a chance of hitting 50,000 subscribers. Never mind uh, losing 50,000 <laughs> Who saw that then? Who was eagle eyed with all that? I saw it. I didn't see it, but it's going to be uh, athletic. Somebody wrote high jump. It's high jump Olympic. Nah. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I actually didn't see it. Is it actually athletic? I, th- I believe so. I believe so. Really? I just guessed. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I honestly did not see that. Prince Grossy oh, yeah. knows. Oh, no. Grossy bag stuffer. Yeah, come on. <laughs> yeah, grossy's <laughs> like, I honestly didn't see that. No, I, I did not have my monocle yeah, yeah. in my eye at the time. Yeah. <laughs> no, <I'm> just, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> we yeah, talk about Olympics. We we Lady M and I are starting a new uh, a new series on Wednesday. Another oh, one. We... Yeah, so it's <laughs> <laughs> to... Oh, what's it called? Lady M. What's 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 the title again? Secrets and mysteries of the Queen Tin of Wonder is 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 its full is its full title. Oh, I right. saw. Did you see oh, I know that one. Yeah, 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 that's funny. Big up so it was one. another one again, Bungle. No, no. So no, but we haven't actually started yet. So that starts on Wednesday, and we filmed. Yeah, but you all. put the teaser up. You put the teaser up. Yeah, I did. Yeah. So so, so we we filmed them all back to back, and we actually found an Olympic coin, didn't we? A, a foreigner was it? Was it from Spain? Yeah, so at some point over the next six or seven weeks, you'll get to see the uh, Olympic uh, Olympic coin from Spain. Mm. So Is stay tuned for that. One of these sets for the missing football. Uh, no, we still we haven't found that. But, <laughs> I, fo- football doesn't exist. It's not real. <laughs> it so it not doesn't real. at the moment, technically. Aye, uh, yeah, it's true enough. It got corona and ran away. Oh, can can everyone hear Sapuchington whining? It's there goes uh, the monetization. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <I just> mentioned. <laughs> sorry, that's a, if you can hear that whining, it's just Sapuchington because Ellie's eating something, so he's he's whining. He wants he wants to lick the ball out. It costed us something. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's the demonetization. Definitely oh, not no. happening. <laughs> <laughs> he's not Lord of the Loot for nothing, is he? Oh. <laughs> right, I'm going. <laughs> I thought he was whining because somebody gave him the leftovers for the sausage in the hole. Okay, Bungle, I've got an idea. Bungle, I've got an idea for your next edge for the Royal Mint. Are you still there? There you yeah, are. Go, go on then. Just get one like like Christopher had with Magnum, magnanimity on it, but this one yours could be demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just say everybody has me all wrong. It really, really does. It just it just slips out. I don't. don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Should we try the trousers then, Bungo? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> right, we've got a 2017 then. What do we reckon this is going to be? <laughs> Tom Kitten. <laughs> Benjamin. It's Benjamin Bunny. It's Tom Kitten. Actually, no. Benjamin Bunny said James is lost. <laughs> How many Benjis are we on? We're on two at the moment. This be, oh, this be B- Benjamin Bunny the third if it is him. There's also I Spy with My Little Lie, another commemorative third from bottom. No, third from top, even. Oh. Spy with My Little Monocle. <laughs> <laughs> it is Peter Rabbit. I also spy yeah. a big 2016. 2020. It is more pepperonis. Yeah. And another that Battle is... Hastings. Busy bag. Busy bag. Right. I feel like we should absolute coins this bag. Oh, cut off. Are we ready? You cut off then, Christopher. We're going to absolute coins this one. Oh, I can't, I can't get the angle right now. <laughs> the scissors. Oh, no, yeah, I forgot the scissors. Damn. Not quite authentic. Not quite authentic. <laughs> oh, I just realised what. Wrong hand. Oh, you in the other hand as well? Yeah. Good gracious. Right. God, oh, just a cheap knockoff. Oh, it's that's... absolute something. It's not absolute coins. And, yeah. and the, co- the coins are going <laughs> off to the wrong side. The Britannia's go one way and the shield's going the other way. wrong. That's better. I, I, can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. This feels wrong. This That's feels it. wrong. Le- you left Le- or right-handed? Uh, right-handed. Fine. I find it easier to just through them with my left hand, though. See, I kind of do the same thing as Absolute Coins, but I use... I don't know what own. you do, Gracie, but it is, it is bizarre. No, it isn't. <laughs> yeah, I, just, I don't think it's no. your hands, it's like... I think it's your servant's hands. And then, you swip, yeah. and then you're flipping it like that. I was watching going, what is he doing? I think you checked the You do a bag like... No, the like, thing is... To... You do a bag like Total Coins, I've just got to go make a cup of tea. <laughs> 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 to clarify also, I look at the key dates as I'm going through the coins. Yeah. I don't do the whole, I'm just going to look off to the side business, because I think it's personally faster to go through the whole... A gentleman never looks off to the side. <laughs> having said that, having said that, I was rushing through them and I noticed on the edit when I was editing it that I missed an Isle of Man one. <laughs> you fact... missed an Isle of Man coin. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Because it was a, it was the TT one with the and it, the Britain, the uh, Queen's face on the back looks the same as the 1997 Britannia, and I was just rushing through. Unbelievable. But... Yeah. Rookie mistake. It's just an amateur. Do you think the Brexit VP will off. go up and down in value if and when we rejoin the EU? Goodness <laughs> gracious. I should have read that whole question before I went for it, shouldn't I? Uh, Steve Phil. Often is off. Thanks for tuning in. You do this bag like, in super fast, like you've sped it up. Uh, I'm doing the music if you want. <laughs> do you want me to do the music while you sped it up? Yes. Charlie Jay, Marks, get set. You've faster than total sped up videos. Go. Do 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 Oh, you wanted your music? No, I'm doing mine. Just trying to get as much much advertising. Oh, we got something. Paddington at the palace. It's hilarious. It's now playing on my TV. Oh, hang about. We're not going to whiz past this. Oh, twenty eleven. Quiz past this. I reckon it's going to be canoeing. Just football, just to rub it in. No, no, <laughs> canoeing. Either football or wheelchair rugby, please. That would make my day. Archery, <laughs> archery. I think gymnastics. Archery. Coins are more UK once it's football. Let's just get through these last two, actually. <laughs> Thanks, Amber. Appreciate the support. <laughs> Imagine if I said, let's just get rid of these last two. There's a cue guard in there. Gymnastics, gymnastics. That's the one I reckon Absolute Cun's going to get stuck on. It's too shiny to be football. Yeah, be weird. we'll share rugby again, won't it? Uh, archery, archery, football, sailing football. Archery. Badminton tennis, badminton, NIFC, football, gymnastics, horse. Mm. Yeah, what's that, one with, what's that one with the horse called uh, Absolute Coins? Uh, sorry, Total Coins. What's it called again? <laughs> 
uh, horse over the mound or something. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, we'll just wait for three days while you try and remember what it is. Olympic yeah, Liberty Club. thank you. And is it is it absolute coin to call it horse jumping over a lightsaber? Yeah, it's <laughs> it's lightsaber jumping. Over lightsaber. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a look then. It is Olympic cycling. Didn't see anyone's had cycling. Yeah, I said cycling. Or did you? <laughs> oh, I said archery. <laughs> Three Olympics. Wowee. This is going wonderfully. Do you reckon the, uh, what we're not talking about is going to affect how the rarer coins are not being... Because there's probably lots of people that aren't doing coin hunts anymore. Do you reckon really? that means that there'll be a surge in the rarer coins? I don't know. Somebody made a good point the other day somewhere. It was the fact that a lot of people might actually cash in their coin collections Very at the cheap. moment. Yes. Bondry Binny, the third. Oh, dude. We've got nine to Number. go and then I win. Good, good. We'll keep it just there. Thank you very much. But he did bungle gas. He didn't. He just complained that he wanted his payments. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to take part, otherwise I'll lose my copyright money. <laughs> we got Roger Uncle, did you know, Uncle, you, did you know that you can actually, rather than do a copyright strike, you can actually just claim the monetization off of this video? Interesting. Can you? Hmm? Okay. That means yeah. I can afford to retire just off this video alone. <laughs> imagine, the, imagine the fezzes I could buy. <laughs> outrageous. outrageous. The thing is, even if you did take part in this Benjamin Bunny challenge, you'd have still probably lost their Lady M and she hasn't even played. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It's true enough. <laughs> Ooh. I think you should just have a boxing match. With Lady M and Bungle? No. Lady M would knock him clean out. Like, come on. <laughs> uh, I'm not fighting her. <laughs> Listen, it's laughter and coins and more, isn't it? Yeah. Grudge match. <clears throat> it's a charity match. I tell you what, Matt, don't, don't honestly don't even go there. There's no way I'd fight laughter. No, no way. On this earth. <laughs> don't, don't even joke. I, I, honestly, I, laughter, I reckon, is rock hard, like proper solid, proper one. And then we'd have to like it'd take five, five of us to drag him off you. No, I've yeah. seen him at the minute. He is solid. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the thing is, there's five years of laughter's life that's not on records, which just suggests that he was in the SAS. <laughs> right. <laughs> he's the Jason Ball my coin tuber. Yeah. Roy, yeah, is having strike your own sausage in the hole. Goodness gracious. Strike, strike your own sausage in the hole. <laughs> 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 oh, there we go. What a find. What? What did he find? Winner, winner. <laughs> oh, wow. Isaac Newton. Oh, I hate you. Lovely. <laughs> right. Newton in the hole. No die clash error. <laughs> Is it a 2017 uh, or 18? 17. Mm. Have you stunt. ever had a sausage in the holy Toledo? <laughs> <laughs> we have Bunjabin Bunny the fourth. Oh, so that means one. I'm... Uh... Uh, I think there's going to be... How many bags of coins left? Uh, one more bag after this. Oh, sorry, I've basically... Oh, I need one more. Do you think I could sneakily pick one up and put it in and make it look like... Um... No, because we'll see at the end. We'll have to count them all on the table flat. Mm. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> Matt says, I will soon be coins and no more after... The laughed about. <laughs> Coins and no more. <laughs> Coins and snow. Right, we're on to the last bag then. The last bag, last chance saloon. We have had some very good finds in this bag. I am chuffed with this hunt. We got scouts there. Uh, 
and you've got the queen on this side. And Bungle, you might not realise this, but the queen is a woman. <laughs> <laughs> what, is there like a, a man <laughs> error? Is that the Adam's apple error? <laughs> I'm not going there on that. No way. Five o'clock shadow error. Five o'clock shadow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I haven't organised these very well. Nothing is fitting where it normally does. Right. <laughs> 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 I is the sausage not fitting in the hole? <laughs> oh. Ah, think as to a thing before you speak. So why did you never make 50,000 subscribers? Because 10,000 unsubscribed tonight. The problem is I'm using my bungle filter today, so um, <laughs> <laughs> these things keep slipping out, unfortunately. Joe coins collect. Uh, Joe collects coins. Has asked, are you monetized on YouTube? Not after this video. Not after this video. No. <laughs> Not after this video. <laughs> Sausage in the hole and. Things not fitting, goodness gracious. <laughs> Chris, hello Christopher, how are you today? I am fan dabby dozy. Could not be better. I found three Olympics in that 50p bag, plus my favourite 50p, Isaac Newton. Absolute stunners. Right, given that we are half an hour ahead of usual schedule, I am going to quickly whiz through the coins off to the side. And we'll show and I'll see what key dates we find. Oh no, I need to keep the bunnies. Because I need to go back out into the wild. With the Christopher Clex scribble on it. How many did you find? Four. How many Benjamin bunnies did I find? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, ten, yeah, eleven, yeah. twelve. <laughs> twelve. <laughs> I think that means I win, right? Uh -huh. yeah. Honestly, you wouldn't catch me trying to diddle someone on the Benjamin Bunny challenge. Oh, I'm always 100% honest. <laughs> Bungle, Bungle, Bungle will back me up on this one, right? Oh, yeah, I'm with you all the way there, mate. Yeah, it looked like 12 to me. Yeah. No problem with that whatsoever. And it's your name on the channel, so I keep telling Lady M. You know what I mean? It's my, my name's on the channel, so surely I get the, the opportunity to, re, to rewrite the rules as I see fit. Or the, the, oh, the, the, it's just gone purple. Lady M must have found that funny. Oh, no, it's blue. <laughs> Team Sherlock, they're so hard to find so sporty girl. Oh dear. No, he has hypnotized well my my audience. Uh, yeah. Team Sherlock. I'm pretty sure Total Coins admitted in one of his videos that Team Sherlock's gonna be the lowest. It's gonna be oh, lower yeah. than we anticipate, but not the lowest. No way, Jose. I think it'll be lower than the Paddingtons. No. I think Thank you. But I'm still Team Tower. Uh, yeah, Team Tower. Because the whole thing started as which is going to be the lowest out of the Paddingtons. Actually, and then Team Sherlock yeah. tried to sort of shoehorn its way in. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty much the what's going to be the lowest of the Paddingtons because that is the lowest 2019 vintage, wasn't it? It was a given that they were going to be lower than the Sherlock, surely. You know, just grossly trying to wear, trying to get it scrapped. <laughs> Macamula had six Sherlock's Sherlock. in his last hunt. Well, if there was no Sherlock involved, then I'd have to be Team Tower. Oh, oh. there we go. What is it? I've said that so before, it's... but yeah, I'd have to be. Could always say there's more Sherlock's in Scotland than there is heart attacks. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, that... is that a bogey error? And it's not it's not a bogey error, it's it's a boil. It's a Queen's boil, I call it. It's not the bogey error. Queen's boil. The Queen's boil. Does anyone watch my videos? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you again? <laughs> oh, I see what you mean now. That's the Michael Jackson error. She's not watching. <laughs> <laughs> Amber says, at least Grossy isn't on Team Loser, like Bungle Collects. Isn't a what? You uh, broke up. Isn't on Team oh. Loser, like Bungle Collects. Oh, no. oh, don't make him say it again. <laughs> <laughs> One more time, <laughs> from the top. <laughs> what, Team Loser, like Bungle Collects? <laughs> <laughs> it's better than Team No Hope. 
You take points for a wet ball for the one show. Oh, Oh, are you saying that Bungo sounds like Matt Baker? <laughs> Surely not. Matt Baker. Grossy, have you got a brother called Joe? Nope. All right, because I've got a second like... account called Joe. Yeah, <laughs> is it called Joe collects coins? No. <laughs> <laughs> or is that is that one of your many manservants that are uh, that are, <laughs> that are spamming paid. the chat? <laughs> they are getting paid an absolute wage. Spamming the chat? I don't see. <laughs> no, there's just one that says Grossy. Like I'm with you. <clears throat> no, and one says uh, Grossy is the best. Joe, Joe collects coins is about to get a subscription from me. <laughs> well, that means much, not all that much. I, I'm well, unsubscribing. <laughs> oh, Matt Baker's from County Durham, so he's not far away from us then. Oh, all right. Bungle sounds like a female Sir Poochington. How, do, how does that work? Do they Britannia? Sir Poochington's a dog. Female dog, think about it. No, she called me a female dog. I thought you were going to say it, then I was like, Bungo, no! No! <laughs> I was waiting on the wee girl with a chalkboard to appear in there dead quick. <laughs> you need to be a certain age to remember the girl with a chalkboard in BBC Two. <laughs> I think that that still broadcasts where Bungle lives. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Island Life. Thank you for tuning in. We're coming to the end now. I'm just checking for the key dates, things that we are ahead of schedule by about half an hour. Hello, Island Life. Nice to see you. But if anyone wants to shout out, now is your chance. Whilst I am checking the dates, I'm sure the other Coinjubers. We'd be more than happy to give you shout outs. See if you can catch them out at all. James Bungle will just wait for the worst one to come through and then say that. <laughs> He's just typing it up on another account right now. <laughs> yeah. My favourite was Lady M Got Tricked by Anita with the same uh, surname as Winnie. Oh, yeah, it's on a live stream. That does, one yeah. did the rounds, to be fair. <laughs> got Cali, yeah. got Coin Cupboard. Oh, oh there's a 2017 shield. Shout out to... Oh, no, I'm not in that, Amber. Is it just me that always thinks, that whilst watching the stream back, that there's, like, 2016 shields and all sorts? It's not me. It's not me. Coin peg must have spilled no. his holics on his jumper. He's just woke up. <laughs> 2017 shield again. Ding ding ding. Mate, alphabet 10 piece more readily available. Couldn't agree more, Kevin, but it won't happen. Yeah. What was that? Yeah, I wish there would, Kevin. Yeah, definitely. 100%. I just think that they should be minting nothing but the A to Zs for the next 10 years into circulation. Yeah. Sure. It would be quite cool, to be fair. Why were they so low? Do they give any reason? I suppose It's because of demand. That's all it is. Yeah, it's just because true. of yeah. demand. Who's demand? No, the definitive one. Who demand? Jo Jordy Clark is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get the joke now. Yeah, I remember this. Uncle thought that Judy Clark was a woman. No, I never. <laughs> and, well, I suppose I did. That's what, the man Jordy, I in real life. <laughs> Judy, George, Judy is more of a girl. Than yeah. However, the the biggest uh, bungle faux pas uh, we've decided died, is the R for for um, what was it for R for bungle? It is quite camouflaged. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. They're in about the robin. Yeah. Yeah, the fact I missed it, I had a robin on the on the R. I thought yeah. you were kidding to be fair. Yeah, no. I I probably I probably am, really, because I think how can I have not seen that the robin was on there? Because it's it's blatantly obvious, but I don't know, I just get a bit confused. I'm getting on a bit. I'm not as old, I'm not as old as coin paper, I'm getting there. <laughs> to be fair, it is it was R for Robin Redbreast. I know, I know. So I probably did see it. I was just having a bit of a moment. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah he's still he's still looking for the double decker bus on the D. No, no, I never. Yeah, no, I never <laughs> noticed that. That, that. that is that is amazing. The fact that through the D you can see the uh, you can see the people. You like the D, don't you, Lady M? Oh my God! No, Bungle, stop it. <laughs> she does. <laughs> Well, there goes the monetization for a fifth time. Uh, it's over. She, it's no, over. no, she really does. Uh, okay, Bungle, stop. <laughs> what? what? I'm not invited next. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't. I don't get it. What about what about Miss Dinger? <laughs> Quite a lot, obviously. <laughs> you, you did. You told me you liked the D. Oh my word! <laughs> <laughs> it's just a bad thing. Two fifty pences. Oh dear! <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Bungle, what's your PA box address? I want to. I want to put up a complaint sign on my channel. <laughs> yeah, it's it's Bungle collects PO box ten seventy seven. Doctor Dodd T's TS one nine one Z A. Please send me all your D. Yeah. As much D as you want. <laughs> really? <laughs> this is definitely going to get clipped and come back to bite you. Oh, there we go. I definitely don't want to do a trade with Bungo if he's off on. <laughs> For the benefit yeah. of the tape, this is Bungo collects coins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Ann Summers website just got inundated. <laughs> Hi, welcome to YouTube Watchdog with me, James Monroe. <laughs> oh, yeah, Lady M's just pointed to the area. Now I get it. I won't say that anymore. Hi, <laughs> Bungle. Bungle. Yeah. Anybody sent you one? Would you take it? <laughs> <laughs> I know what it is now, so I'm saying nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious, right. Smoke what she got him. <laughs> We're being shut down. I'm trying to take down Christopher Collects from the inside. <laughs> uh, we can get his channel taken down. We, we can fill the power void. Me and Colt Coins and Grossy. <laughs> the smaller coin tubers unite against the big man. <laughs> like the man. Void. <laughs> oh. <laughs> fill the voids with your D's. Mm. Well, it's been my pleasure and my honour to um, entertain you all, but um, unfortunately, this is the end of the road for Christopher Collects. <laughs> <laughs> my nice little family-friendly channel. Oh. How many have you got in your collection there, Bungle? I'm not playing anymore. <laughs> Did you say that you're not able to move for them? <laughs> I'm hanging up. <laughs> Goodness what? gracious. What? what? So we're having another conversation. The lady MC said I've seen pictures of her. What are you on about? You've sent pictures to the group chat before of uh of his thing. What are you What on earth are you talking about? <laughs> hmm. That really would be a man error. <laughs> yeah. What is going on? Well, we better shut up. <laughs> 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 I've got okay. a sweat on. Last oh. few minutes then. Any more questions from the chat to myself or my fellow co-hosts? A big thank you to them all. A big plug to... Um... <laughs> a big plug, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> a big plug to Bungle Collect. <laughs> this has to come down. It has to come down. <laughs> oh, a big shout out to Absolute Coins, to Bungle Collects Coins, Grusy Coin Hands, Gypsy B Hoy, Total Coins. I have been Christopher Collects, and this is the last time I've been Christopher. I'll be Christopher Collects, and the rate is going as well. So, um, wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness gracious! Can we have a bungle error coin? Oh dear! <laughs> Crying. <laughs> bungle error coin, the one with the double D. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. A 
I told you, I'm using my bongo collex filter today. These things, they're just... <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> We have, oh. we have bungled it. We we came ready to bungle today. <laughs> Will I get invited next week, Christopher? A hundred percent bungle. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be on my channel, mind you, but you will be invited. Because <laughs> you won't have a channel by now. Exactly. Next week. <laughs> I'm going back to stamp videos. Away. I'm going back to stamp videos now. <laughs> <laughs> Christopher's done the overtime. Is that James? <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, Christopher, you better get some overtime in at work because your monetization is gone. <laughs> I think so. I think so. <laughs> Christopher Clicks, are you a vegan? No, I am not. I couldn't live without steak and bacon. There is another. There, there is. There is uh, more. Oh no! I got to. Done. I can't say anymore. <laughs> I'm, just, I mean, done. I'm not digging any further into this um, situation. Yeah, let's not talk about everyone's love of meat anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, everything's to, everything's gone. What happened? What happened? What happened, people? It seems to be a family-friendly channel. Know, yeah, two years of it being family-friendly, and then you invite Bungle on, and it all just goes off. <laughs> I misunderstood. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Pongo collects sausages. Pongo collects sausages. <laughs> 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 uh, Robert, Robert, said is your night. That's twice you've had everyone in absolute stitches. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, oh. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Gracious. Oh, right. Any more? Any more messages? Any more questions? Queries from the comment how section. I, how do you even dare ask that? Honestly, you're a brave man, Christopher. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, good game. Good game. Very well done. Who is laughing like Jimmy Carr? Oh. Jimmy boy. Uh, Daisy Daisy boy. Boy. That is the B-Boy. Daisy Boy might actually have passed out. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> Where are you all from? Uh, well, I'm from Amazing Stoke. Uh, Bungle is on the um, the planet between what Jupiter and um, Pluto. Uranus. <laughs> I'm going to get in there before Bungle gets in there. <laughs> oh. Right, I think we have we have um we have come to the end of the stream. So again, a big thank you to my good friends and fellow coin tubers, Total Coins, Jamesy B Hoy, Grotty Coin Hunt, Bungle Collects Coins, and Absolute Coins. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed to them, head on over there now. We'll be reading someone over on Twitch. Any any parting messages from any of the guys in the in the in the call at the moment? Yeah, oh. safe. This shall be remembered. Is sponsored by the letter D. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just want to say I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if there's anyone at YouTube watching this right now, <laughs> we're sorry. <laughs> uh, right. Thanks for another great stream, everyone. Yeah, yeah good laugh. Thank you very much. Oh, we'll great. read someone over on Twitch, and we'll we'll read a, a video over on YouTube as well. I haven't got anything. I haven't got anything lined up. Uh, for that yet, but um, we will find something. Oh, no, I do actually. I, I'd already decided what we wanted to read. Um, oh, they always change it on on Twitch. They. Are, uh, da, 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 da. I know how to do this. Come oh, on, Christopher. Like HMS Belfast joke. Would you call sausages trick or treat? Halloweeners. Halloweeners. <laughs> <laughs> so who's over on Twitch? Uh, that's the wrong window. I can't see anything from that. I see Amber. Wakeling, I see the Coin Collector, Retzim Relim, Bread657, uh, I see the Coin Collector182, I see Lilos, I'm sure Total Coins is over there in, in the moderator chats, but a massive thank you to those of you that, oh, well, the raid's not worked, what have I done wrong? Let's try that again. Something went wrong, try running that action again, oh, for crying out loud, right, let's see. 
Right, that raid is working. It's not the raid I was planning to do, but there we go. That'll do for now. Uh, a massive thank you to those of you on Twitch. Thank you for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time if they allow me to make more videos. Uh, <laughs> goodbye. Bye. Right, those of you that are still on YouTube then, where are we going? We are going to a video that I quite liked from way back when. Um, do, 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 do. So if we can all go over to this video and leave a holy Toledo once I find it. There we go, that's the one I wanted. But in the chat, I see Jamesy Bihoy, I see Sean, I see Bungle Collects Coins, I see a bunch of stuff. Uh, I see Joe Collects Coins, Absolute Coins, Mac and Moolah, Robert Roberts, Teague Bernie, Sporty Girl, Dana Paris, Denise Haynes, Total Coins, Temples Treasures, Coins and More UK, Charlie Jai HTV, uh, Sean, HMS Belfast, Robert Roberts, Martin Thomas, Katie Jones, Keza, Darren Cheshire, Island Life. Uh, yes, I will be over on, Twi uh, over on my Discord chat. I'm going to go have something to eat and then I will be over in the Discord chat. Uh, Kurt, uh, GSA Wolf Coins, Laughter, Scoot. Um, I will leave the link in here now. So if we can all head on over there and leave a holy Toledo. Maybe even a subscribe if, you, if you're feeling generous as well. So thank you very much. Coins and More UK, Cheryl Marsden, uh, Temple's Treasures. I hope that you've all enjoyed. Thank you for watching. And I will see you next time for more coins. Goodbye. Post the link once more before we before we turn off. <laughs>